everyone. Just waiting for everyone to get in here. around trying to get set up this morning <laughs> oh goodness Trying to find myself on YouTube, so I'm second place to watch chat. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carla. Hi, Candy. Hi, Nancy. I can't find myself. I gotta search for myself. Hold on. There we go. All right, I can, turn, I can watch two places. I can see my chat. Okay, and turn the volume down. Okay. So, so my camera's here, but my screen's way over there. It's a weird setup, but I did it to give myself more room because I'm always like sandwiching myself in this little tiny space to work. Drives me crazy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Dar. Good morning. Janet, oh, you took the bus over from Mary's. Thank you so much. Yep, I was watching Mary while I was uh, doing my morning routine, getting ready to stream. I was uh, taking the dogs out, all that good stuff. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Carla. I think I said hi to you earlier, so we don't lift anybody. Yeah, I watch Mary Y get wake up and get ready. Uh, get me, a, get me in my uh, paint art mood. <laughs> to crack it on. <laughs> uh, Kathy, be here in a few minutes. So, um, oh, good morning, Lynn. And Eileen is going to be a little later today. She said she was able to finally get in and get a haircut after six months. I'm so happy for her. Oh, my gosh. That is a long time to not be able to get your hair done. It's a long time. That's terrible. So I'm going to be uh, lens working and lurking. I took notes when uh, you streamed uh, last week, um, Janet, um, or this week too, just doing with all your cute little pages and things like that. And the envelope pocket on the back of the tag and are in the book and I took some uh, your cute little edge trim in your books and I took uh, some photos and I took some notes. <laughs> I thought they were all really good ideas. Hi Devin. Yeah, I like your ideas. I'll take photos, I'll write down notes. And I think you've got some really cute ideas in your junk journal that I really love to incorporate. So much fun. Hi, Joy. Happy anniversary. So um, it was uh, Joy's uh, wedding anniversary. On Facebook, I saw like 25 years, and uh, there's a couple people's anniversaries I've seen recently on um, on Facebook. That's the goal is is to be inspired by one another, right, and have some fun, have a community. Um, 
I love watching different people's style and what they do to inspire me. I don't want to just watch one person, you know what I mean? I like watching um, all the lives. I also watch recordings of people who don't do lives. And um, I also, from classes that I'll take on Wonderlust or um, from, every, from uh, Willowing and things like that. So, uh, Jeannie Oliver, she's got some good classes. Oh, your anniversary is tomorrow, Devin. 22 years. You're in the mountains for the weekend. Oh, it falls on the holiday. Well, how awesome is that? Congratulations. 22 years. For the Sorry, there's a FedEx. I touched. He's delivered across the street. 22 years. Oh, my goodness. It seems like, you know, that's such a hurdle nowadays to get to stay married. It's a long time. Oh, and you're going to the mountains. That sounds nice. So it'd be more of a, um, a less crowded type of place, which would be safer for you guys with COVID, which is good because anywhere near the beach or any of the popular places, Places, you know, what I mean, you have, you have to worry about your. But if you're up by, I think like a lot of people are doing that, going to, going to mountains, going, you know, going in RV and and things like that, just so they can go somewhere but not be, you know, in a big group of people, you know. And truthfully, I think it's a lifestyle change, not for everybody. Some people are still doing the normal, but for those that are not, like. It's a lifestyle change, and I'm actually, I'm actually not minding some of the changes, like, you know, like the doctor's offices and stuff. Uh, there's, you know, they spread us out in a waiting room. There's, they're taking less people at a time. I'm okay not being in there with sick people. Um, the foot doctor, I go there. It's a small place. You go in, you sign in, you sit in the car. They come and get you. The same with my dentist, like. I don't mind. I'd rather sit in my car than sit in a waiting room with strangers staring at each other. So, <laughs> I mean, these are the, you know, I, I'd say the um, the vets is probably a little more um, not as good because I can't go in with my pets. But I know they take good care of them. It's just it, it just freaks them out a little bit, but they're fine. So. Anyway, so those are the kind of new COVID changes that I'm not really, you know, freaked, you know, and enjoying, I should say. So I purchased one of these. This was, um, I took some of the cards already out. This was enabled by, okay, Kathy said she'll be here right there. Uh, enabled by Kathy. I got the Rolodex Jr., on uh ebay and it's metal yeah it's old it's vintage it's in good shape the car i had all the cards and stuff um i took some of them out um i'll probably be taking them all out before it's all over with but anyway um so anyway i had done a bunch remember i was like stamping a bunch of these girls for a page some turned out some didn't so Anyway, so I had her, she, some of her stamping wasn't good, but I filled it in. And then I just used some watercolors and some pencils and just had fun. Just playing, um, colored her in. And I, you know, and I thought it would be fun. She's falling because she's a weird size, right? But that's the fun part. Once I get a bunch of stuff in, she'll fit, she'll stay nicely. Um, that's why I kind of left the cards in the supporter, but I'm thinking this would be fun to do with, uh, girls, just have a little art cards of girls is where I'm thinking it would be fun to do. Yeah. I mean, I think it'd be fun. I mean, if you can see how that looks like, just have a bunch of, uh, girls stamped out or draw, you know, some drawn out, stamped out or whatever, and have just, um, just, 
you know, punch a, you know, punch a hole in the bottom and, uh, and add this and just have a, a fun flip through of girls. I think it'd be fun to do. That's why I think I'm going in that direction now. Just, you know how she, uh, Kathy has all the odd shaped cards in her big one. I would thought it was fun to, um, I might make a girl uh, journal decks and just have as much girls in here, like our girl binders. Because I have a lot of, I have other, I have other roll decks. Um, like this one is, I think this one's from the 70s. Like this one is, I got also, let's see, I got already, see it's already broken in. It did not have paint on it when it arrived. Um, this was the Rolodex too. And um, I got this on uh, eBay. And this is, and I, I'm going to just leave it as is and use it for cards. And I have all the cute little Heidi Swap. I think it was Heidi Swap or another brand. I got these at Tuesday mornings with the little dividers. And so what I'm doing is, you know, I'm, I'm taking extra paint and stuff. And then I'm also, when I got my stamps out, I've been going through and stamping on them and filling these in. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Wouldn't it be a cute idea to have a bunch of girls like that you draw or stamp or, or color? You could cut them out of coloring books if you color um, and, and put them in here and have little pieces of art to flip through. I think it'd be really fun to flip through. Oh, thanks, Janet. Yeah, because I was like, well, I have this one I'm working in. I have another roll, one that rolls that's newer. And it's going to take me a long time before I actually fill this one up. And I was like, you know, I wanted this one because, you know, Kathy had it. <laughs> And then I was like, I'm going to make a girl roll the next thing. I went through um, the other day. Uh, let me find them. I stamped the bus. I had a bunch of my little, like, I, I call them, like, cute stamps, hippie stamps, and just went through stamping. Um, and then I think I'll go back with some pencils and stuff and color them. But, um, so, yeah, I went through with some of my fun. Like, these are just, like, like watercolor. I think this might have been watercolor or something. I don't remember. And I just went through just adding stamps to them. And then I can just color them when I feel like, you know, when you feel like being artsy, but you don't want to, like, start anything big. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know if I want to start a big page. So, yeah. So, these are just yeah, fun to do, and then extra stencils and stamps, and then, you know, I put some feather on this one, um, oh, yeah, oh, wow, that was 80, this one was 30, this, the June, and that might be a big one, the, the big ones are, like, if you get the bigger metal ones, they are about 80, this is the junior. This was 35 and then um, it was like 15 bucks to ship it, but it is heavy. Um, 80 might be for, there's a bigger version. Kathy can show you hers. She's got her giant one. And so those probably are closer to, to that. And this one I got, uh, this plastic uh, Rolodex. It was in this little mid seventies box. I think this was about 20. And, um, but yeah, see how cute this looks with you smearing a little color, doing, uh, putting down some stamps. And then one day I just went through and just, uh, I just went through stamping on a bunch of these cards, you know. So I like having little, um, oh yeah, and then we were talking about doing, you know, the, the fabric swap we're going to do. Hold on, see it's stuck together. But again, it doesn't matter because I'm just playing. And this one, so then I like stapled like a little piece of extra fabric that I had and um, stapled that on there. You could also do that in your roll decks, you know, put your little fabric things on the top. Hi, Ann. Hi, Dar. I didn't say hi already. Um, again, these all got, these are where I lay them on my jelly plate, soak up the paints. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's fun. I mean, see, it starts coming together with just slapping some paint on it and then start stamping on it. And it already, 
it kind of already starts taking you into um, into a direction for your card. You know what I mean? Once you just just adding some paint and some stamps, it, it doesn't take much. You know, before you know, you kind of have a you kind of have a direction that you're going. You know, and this is just. I guess that these are just just for me, just for fun, and um, I like to have these flip through on my desk. <laughs> I added these two on here. There, I can make them boobs, or I can make them uh, sunglasses. <laughs> this one's front and back. So anyway, so these are fun. Um, like I said, I don't know what brand these were, but this was a set, and you get these really large. Um, you get really large cute dividers and like that one says love summer paper summer um, acetate um there's one with crosses so it's a typewriter yeah these are a lot of fun and i think i got these for a couple dollars a while back and then i bought these i can't remember if it was before i can't remember if it was before or after i had the roll decks but you know i knew i would use them at some point all right kathy's here but yeah look how you can see how colorful from this direction you guys are seeing a weird angle look how colorful and fun this is where you have your oops let me stick that in there better your acetates and and all of your it's just fun and colorful and to look out on your desk so that's more of the view that i see versus you guys seeing the top view but yeah, Rolexes are a blast, right? I don't think you can have too many of these. Let me get Kathy. Oh, thanks, Janet. It is it is works in progress. A little pasties. <laughs> I think every face doesn't have that. They could. And it's just good to see how they go. Like some of these. I added um, I added some words. I added some collage bits on these um on this group in the front i was taking um i was taking little birds and i was i was adding these if you love to draw you could totally do that of course yeah i added a bird on this one so this was a group i was adding for collaging birds on welcome welcome miss kathy good morning sorry i was there earlier and then i went upstairs and lost track of time so that's my normal i get busy doing stuff and then i'm like i did that the other day i had to get a foot doctor it's like holy crap i gotta get an appointment i'm here yakking on the phone with my daughter and doodling around my room and then i was like oh crap I know you lose track of time, and because especially when I'm out, so much, especially when I'm uh, like in my art room, I really lose track of time. Yeah, so I, I just get you know, even if I'm just cleaning up or going through stuff or gluing or whatever, <laughs> watching YouTube videos. I you know what I started doing? If I have to go somewhere and I'm down arting, because I usually like on Thursdays, Jack goes to the groomer and to have his play day and stuff. I'll set the timer on Alexa. That's a good idea. And you. then Please I'll be it. like, oh my God. So the thing is that when it goes off, I need to get up and leave right away because I'm like, okay, I'll leave. And then I keep doing what I do. But it does, <laughs> help. It does help because I'm notorious for like, oh my God, I got to get Jack and I'm running at the last minute. So it's like I love your Rolodex cards. Is they fun? I was telling them like this one I had extra paste uh, left over and then just you know sc just ran I just like scraped that on there threw some little splashes I already had color and then you know I mean all I need is a word or something is done you know I mean just oh, like fun. a leftover journal but you use the cards that's a great idea yeah extra paste or whatever you're working on I was telling them I found a little tidbit on my desk and I stapled it on <laughs> so, you know what I mean it's just, I, like your Indian. you like my Indian girl? girl or whatever she is and she cute I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a girl um your druid stamped her but I colored her in Okay. Oh, she's cute. But I did like, you know, I did a little bit of shading. It's not great. It was with some pencils and watercolors, but you know, um, 
gotta start somewhere. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a girl Rolodex. Oh, that's fun. And see, I like the one where you can put the bigger cards on if you want. Yeah, you can. I don't have this extending out too far, but I could put any width I want. Right. And it's nice just to lead the base fat and then cut around her. And then I use the Heidi Swap punch. And then I'm going to make this the girl roll deck. This is kind of my leftover paints and tidbits that I put on these. Cute. I would say more messy art journaling with this group. Oh, that's and, nice. uh, and look how much, I mean, I still got tons. I haven't even put anything on. Like, I'll be working in this for probably five years. Yeah, lots of cards fit in those. It's amazing. It, it tons of cards, along with all my little uh, doodads. I mean, you can see, like, I've just done some painting and some stamping. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, here, Devin, here's one of them. This is like extra cutouts. Look. <laughs> I'll just glue them on there. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> and it made me laugh. That's so funny. Got a girl stamp and from who? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I missed that question. Thank you. Are you going walking or running or something? No, I got an hour and a half meeting in four minutes. So oh, I'm just saying hi. hi. I'm just saying hi. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, I've been wiped out and running for a long while now. Mike. Well, my late uh, latest issues have been, I don't know, I need to warm up more or something. I mean, like a mile and a half into my run and then like kind of pull a muscle or come up lame. It's like, what the heck? You would think you would do that like within the first three or four minutes, you know? Yeah, maybe walk walk a mile or something. Yeah, when I was at work, I would I'd go to the gym and like I at one point the gym was behind my building. So it'd be like a five or seven minute walk to get to the gym. So you kind of. Before I was working out, you, you kind of had a chance to loosen up or then right, that would be there, your you know, but you know, now I'm like, I just walk out the door and I'm, I'm running. So ready to go. Yeah, Got to watch that stuff. I guess I'm getting old. Uh, so I, know, I know. Tell me about it. It's not fun. Not fun. Here's the stamp set. She found it. Cute. How about that? There you go. You're organized. Man. <laughs> I'm organized. Did you hear it? <laughs> you are organized. This is uh, this is uh, LDRS Creative. I think that's the website. The stamp is huge. Let me show you guys. Let me move these out of the way. So there's the back of it. It like if you see the palm of my hand, like it's a it, this is a big stamp. stamp, and it comes. So it's uh, the first one, you can get this from her website. She has lots of other ones. Here's the, the number. Hold on. Again, I can't really focus. CCD101. And these are, also you can look uh, look her up by Creative Creations Designs. I like it. she puts an eight in there. By Andrea Gamal. G O M O L L. She has uh, stamps on her website. She also teaches on um, usually willowing, and she also has uh, classes you can purchase from her from her website. Um, and she's she, making her stuff into stamps now. That's really cool. She also has acrylic stamps. These are this is a foam. You see, it says a foam stamp. And but she also has acrylic stamps. I think Zandra has a whole bunch of her acrylic stamps. She has acrylic stamps. This was a set of foam, and there's a I have another couple other sets, but these are foam. So that's why I keep cool. these uh keep these separate from my other ones. But look at all the cute ones it comes with. It comes with little splotches, lots, a little trim. A couple of feathers and some quotes. Fly free, create from your heart. So it comes with the girl and all these extra little stamps. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I've used her a ton. She's really cute. Yeah, I've used this one a lot. And I don't, you know, and then like look how she cut you can see how look how she colored her. She used she used uh yellows and purples. 
and uh, did the white shading, of course, and it's how pretty she shaded her. So she did her in yellow. I should just take her out of the bag and you know, look at the warning thing. But like that, see how you, if you're really good at shading, look how pretty that looks. And that's in yellow, right? And then I did mine in, with turquoise and pinks and gold. So see how you can make her look completely different depending on how you color, what medium you use. Or it's pencils, watercolors. So that also will make her look different. But yeah, these are this is one of my um, one of my favorites. So if you want to check her website out, very fun. It is fun. So does she sell those directly from her website, or are they through yeah, a? She'll sell them from her website. Very cool. So that my newest purchases. Make sure anyone else is seeing Julie came in. Hi, Julie. Um, she is gorgeous. Hi, Helen. Hi, Gail. Okay, you have a question about the tag swap? Okay. Hi, Candy. Okay, I did answer your email this morning, Gail. Hey Lori, who I miss, and okay, let's see what Gail says. Okay, hi Janice. Yeah, check your email. See if uh, if that was if yeah. Kathy addressed what you're asking. If not, type it in and. Okay, what she had been asking was she wasn't sure if she should make 10 or 12 tags. And um, I know I had said, well, it said 10, but then we're like, no, you know, Colleen and I each wanted to have a tag. So there were so many people in the swap. It's 10 plus one for Colleen and one for I. For I, for me. <laughs> back this morning so it's 12 if you can only do 10 don't worry about it but colleen and i wanted to make sure we ended up with 33 people in the swap so and that's plus colleen and i so that's 35 so there's i've got groups of 10 and 12 and i think everybody's going to get more than that because uh some people sent in more tags than they needed to so you'll get more, everybody will probably get more tags than they sent in. So, but it, hopefully that answers your question. But yeah, because I, I was thinking like, okay, it will do 10 and then Colleen and I will be in each of the groups. Then we had so many people answer. So it's, if you can send 12, send at least 12. So that's good. Okay, thanks. Oh, you don't have, that's okay, Candy. That's okay. If you want to, I'm happy to get them. And, um, but I will have enough for everybody. I just wanted to make sure Colleen and I got them from everybody. And then that way, cause I want everybody to see everybody's artwork too. So I'll send more, you know, to people than what they sent. So, all right. I know this is the first time I've ever done a swap. So my apologies if it's kind of confusing. We're newbies. We're maybe to swaps. Swap movies. This is my Tuesday morning purchase the other day. I got. Um, oh, Colleen, you can put yourself big okay. and be small. Hey, do you doing, Bandit? Hold on. There you go. Let me move in too. Oh, and Candy, I got your tags yesterday, and I got Laura's tags yesterday. So I will show those later. There you go. Okay, so I got these at Tuesday mornings. You've seen these before. They're nothing new. They're Project Life cards. Very good. Think of the name. <laughs> it only took us what two days. <laughs> you know those card thingies? Um, they have them, um, you know, normally twenty-five for nine dollars, and um, so they get these 
quite often. These, this set is by, hold on, uh, I'll try to get your name on it, Julia Warren is the designer for this group. And I don't buy these very often because I don't really use them much, but this set I could not resist because it was so cute and fun. And I thought I could use this on a whole bunch of layouts. And you literally get 116 cards. Six <laughs> neat things. Huge. These oh, are what else you can use it for, Colleen? What's you that? You get to roll a dex punch. Oh, that's a good point. We do that. That's a good idea. Because that's what okay. the ones that I really like. I try to stick mine in my Rolodex. That's a great idea. So you line this up. Punch. Done. Then add it in. That's why I said these are fun because these are, I also, these are narrow. So they fit no problemo. And then it's kind of fun too because you can you can see here's the back so i can do some painting on the back and what's cool about it is i don't i like having the different kind of like a junk journal um it is it's a huge amount of cards it devin 616 cards it's unreal right like oh is that how many are in there that's amazing I, that's a really good deal. Mm -hmm. Nine bucks for all this, someone's all this art to add into yours. And so I punch and put it in. And I like having different sizes, like I the tall, the short. I think it looks more interesting that way. That's why I like the tabs. And um, I, I think it's more fun and interesting if you got different sizes in there. So good idea. All right, done. And my index cards. Um, so they have typically you'll get duplicates. So I mean you do get dupes, they're not 616 different ones, but look at this scratchy cat, Devin. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, Katie used to get these, but she does do a lot of scrapbooking too. I think it's a scratchy cat. There was a class on Jeannie Oliver that was a scratchy uh hi Eileen. Are you back from your haircut? Are you beautiful, Eileen? <laughs> beautiful, more beautiful feel like a, than you were the other day. Feel like a new woman. Okay, so this is one side. So you see all the different designs. I love these designs. I think it's very, it's, they're very cute. Do I have a story for you? Boy, oh, that's those are good ones. That is sometimes, you know. You do. You just like <laughs> won't believe what happened. So here's a shoe. Maybe think of David and her shoe cats. And um, on the back, she said she is perfect now. <laughs> she was perfect before. She's even more perfect now. So on the back, they typically have journaling spots that you can use either one. And for your scrapbooking um, or mixed media, or whatever. I'm going to be using these for tip ins. I'm going to be adding these to my Rolodex. Thank you for that idea. And you can see all the cute designs in this one. And uh, you could also just have fun trying to draw these. There's a camera like this one. You could add more doodles on top of the black one. Oh, aren't the shoe cats cute cat? <laughs> I just had to. Where the shoe cats keep the shoe cats. cats. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, so again, like this is the back side. They have little flowers. It says notes and joy. They're different things. Every card set is different, but I don't know if anyone cares or is interested, but or has a Tuesday morning. But it's fun. I just wanted to show you again. We just want to show you new things. It's that, well, this is probably not new, but this is new to me, this set. But um, if you're a heavy duty end of this stuff, you might already have it. But uh, there's also these large ones, and they're all a little different. What's and the name of that set? It's a really cute set. Um, this one's called. 
special. Uh, this is called the sweet edition. Okay. Because I'll see. I know my Tuesday morning usually has those, and I haven't really looked at them lately, but that is a cute set. Julia Warren sweet edition. It is. It's, um, it's it, yeah, I don't, I don't normally always look at them either, but I had to walk by, and I was like, oh, man, that's a cute set. <laughs> I was like, I really hardly ever use these, but I think that I will, uh, like, like the ones I did have, but I know I will use this group because they're fun, they're they're modern, they're girly. Like, here's the one side, here's the other. You can use this and put a title on your page, Dance With Me. That's cute. Cute. And one side to grab this as a bow. Remember when, and like I said, it, and there's a bow going vertically or horizontally and they also do that too depending on how you do your albums you may want your albums put your cards in this way or this way depending on what photos you're doing but oodles of inspiration i find these to be very fun in the, this particular group there's a bike how cute is that and very inspiring honestly I just fell in love with this set. And I can honestly tell you the last time I, I got excited over a set of Project Life cards. Um, I mean, you all watch me every week. You don't see me buying these every week. So this set in particular, I was just like, oh, man, this is so cute. Oh, yeah, they had the Meek. There was the Meek Mini. Remember, I thought it was the regular size. It was the Mini. I know. I couldn't decide whether to buy it or not. I keep him calling about it because I don't know how much I'll use it. Oh, I will foil anything. I have the foil pens, and I hardly ever use them. And that's where I kind of get stuck because I don't know if I will how much I will foil because I don't do all the kind of art that Patty does. I like Patty's art, but I don't do that kind of art. Does that make sense? I love all art. I just not necessarily don't do it, but I appreciate it. So did you say you got the mink or no? I did not. Eileen says I should get it. And um, I'm going to try my... Um, laminator first and see how that works oh good morning brenda today this morning she has off thank you for spending your morning with us um yeah the two the um and i drive by now for the oh. price you should but she thinks because of the price i should buy it it is a really good price. They're normally 80 for 30. It is a really good price. Yeah, good price. But I'm just but I guess I kept toying with the fact that um how much will I foil stuff? Okay, Candy uses a laminator. How um how does your laminator work, Candy? I have one, like I have a really cheap one I got on Amazon, but I haven't you tried it yet. How does the laminator work? <sighs> Tam said all the Tuesday mornings in New Jersey have closed. Oh, that's sad. Oh. Only some of ours are closing. The, yeah, the one closest to me is staying open, so I'm lucky. Yeah, that's how it is here. This one might be a good one to put in. So. Okay, so Candy said it works great. I will try. I will try the laminator and see how it works. Brenda said mine was terrible a few times I went in. I know, so was mine. And I was in, yeah. I went in there last week and they had signs up that said, we are not closing. We will be getting new merchandise soon. So I don't know if they're just trying to use up, you know, get rid of stuff that they had, but they had signs up saying we are not, not closing, but we will be getting more soon. So one so of the interesting you. things I did have not, I need to look. I just remembered it. And I didn't buy them because I don't know anything about them. It was We Are Memory Keeper, like Thanks, plastic kind of texture plate things. And they had them on clearance too, but I've never seen them before. They're like these texture plate things. And I don't know if they're any good or how you use them. And I actually just they had a bunch. So I decided they. I wish I just now remembered. I want to find some YouTube channels and people buying those and seeing like 
see what they do with them because what are they by Colleen? Are they the Fiskers ones? The, they're by We Are Memory Keepers, and they were like a kit, and they were like plastic plates with with designs on them. And I was like, I'd never seen those before, so I really didn't know if they what you do with them if they're any good. No, I haven't. Have you tried yours, Eileen? Okay, so Candy says she uses toner pens or sprays and then runs it through the laminator with the foil. So I'll have to look for toner. Is it a toner spray? I'll have to look for that because that sounds like it would be easy. Then you can control, I guess. I don't I don't, I have a laser printer, so I think it uses toner ink. Oh, so we could just print stuff out and then put it through the laminator. Yeah, we could. With if you got a laser, you can just run it through. And I'll have to buy it. the toner ink is if you have the inkjet. So this is another cute set. Cute. And of course I had to get it because the rainbows make me th think of jerseys. Look for the foil spray. Okay. This set is called this set is by um, Amy. Amy Tangerine. She has some really cute stuff. I like her stuff. Eileen wants to know if you've tried your pocket maker. No, I have not. I asked her if she used hers and she said no. She wants me probably to do it on Steam and, and have a struggle with it. Uh, this I like these pretzels. That's funny. Hearts. Yeah, washi tape is addictive. So that was my, so I got the cards. I got the washi tape. And I got this. I already started playing in it. I'm already having fun in this. That I, uh, I had another cookbook, so I had to get it. <laughs> oh, that's why I need to go back to see if they have those cookbooks. And this is with the cookbooks are with the stationery in my store. Now, see, mine were all the okay. So, was there some <laughs> and then stationery? Yeah, this was a, this, the cookbooks were the stationary stuff. Yeah. All right, I'll go back today and look. Um, this one is cute. This one is by Lori, uh, not Lori, Lisa. Lisa, I put her name in here. I love, I love her. Actually, lo was looking at the images and I'm like, I think I have her calendar. And I looked and I did. Uh, I know I like her art. It's funny, I bought the book with her art, and I was looking through, I'm like, you know what? This looks vaguely familiar. And I found her, and I have her calendar, too. Lisa, okay. is it K-A? Hold on. I'll flip there, and I'll show you. It had her name on the back. But these are by Lang. This is also on Amazon. It's 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's from 2011. It says, it's by Lang. If you see you search Lang um, binder cookbooks or it'd come up. I got it for 15. I love the cover. Oh, I do too. With the little, it's all, I love this, this mixed media style of paint and uh, paints and collage. And um, it's like the uh, rooster cookbook. It has a little pad over here. It has a huge uh, binder. So to hold, you know, a spine I should say and so I went through like I did the, the rooster one and I covered the the part with the recipes with her calendar piece calendar I already had so I took oh so they okay you glued those pieces in I was gonna say boy that's so cool yeah I like that. so I glued it to cover up the recipe parts and then the back is just um lightly decorated I guess you should say so he does it by I put the heart on there on the other side. And then I love uh, Julie. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, she was her name. Uh, Roberts. Um, oh, my gosh. Why am I having a brain fart about who is who this is? Hold on. Oh, I hate when I do that. That's why I feel like I'm old. When you sit there, go blank. And you're like, I can't Ooh. think of it. Um. Oh, uh, Kelly Ray Roberts and, and Lisa Cause, K-A-U-S is the author of the, the other. This is, yeah, Kelly Ray Roberts. I love her art. Um, 
so I added her calendar in. And then this was from um, a calendar I got at uh, Hobby Lobby last, I think the last year, the year before. This came from another calendar. Um, I like hers. I can't think of her name offhand. And did you get the headbands? I did. I got, I did. I got the headbands. Don't you I, love them? <laughs> they are wonderful. And then when I go out outside, I, uh, I wear them. It catches sweat rolling down my forehead. I know. And then if you need to, you can always flip it over and use I, it as a mask. I paid 15 for my, um, if you're asking about the cookbook, Eileen, I paid 15 for it. Okay. That's uh, not bad. So that's less than Amazon. I know. I saved my card too. Yeah, it's cute. So I, I punched it and decided I'm going to do, you know, do something with it. And um, they again, also just, have cute stuff on in their shop. You'll start getting emails from them, and they've I know. such cute clothes. I oh know. my gosh, and cute little house decorations and stuff. I love that website. Um. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So I glued that. I cut off the edges that had like breads and so on and so forth. And so I covered them. I just cut them off. Oh, that's there you go. I cut, I whacked them off and I added the uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly on the back, Kelly Ray Roberts art there. And I think this was a combination of Elisa's and the other girl's art. And then um, this one was from her calendar. And I just took the part of it that I liked and punched it and added it in just because it's pretty. So, and then I had to leave the backside alone because look, there's geese. It's a little snow scene. This was be the December one on the back, but like I can't cover up the ducks. So it would be a cute boho card. Okay, Gemma, on. this is what comes on that card. It's, it's a headband. <laughs> So if you order a headband, it comes on that card. And you can wear it, you can wear it like over your head like a bandana. You can wear it as a wrist thing. You can wear it as a mask. Wear it as a headband, all kinds of stuff. They're super, super cute. And I got one and um, I saw the one girl I like on YouTube that does the garden show wears them. And someone asked her, on a live video what she what uh her where she got her headbands and i went over and found them no, and then okay. i realized they were coming across on instagram anyway but yeah, I found I, mine on instagram and it's funny because now like i was going through starbucks and the girl's like oh i like your headband and i looked up at her and she had one on it was kind of funny <laughs> um yeah the, the laying um yeah, there's a there's a 2021 banner that looks nice. Thanks, Helen. She's quick at the links. Yeah, she is super quick at the links. So anyway, so this is um, my new love. Thanks to Kimberly, is um, altering cookbooks. She altered a garden book, and um, I loved it. So and then when I found the rooster cookbook and now this one so i'm going to alter the cookbooks because they're really nice binders and yeah, they're perfect yeah it's a neat size so yeah so i'm just going to put in like things that i like things that make me happy um might put in some art like this was a the one i put in here was um where is it this one um i had my a magical explosion in my container and one of my magical lids came off and it was like all of this, all my stuff was laying on the bottom of the box. So I just took out all the jars and I just took it out and I put it on some watercolor paper. And uh, cause I, I, I really couldn't get it back into the jar nicely. So I just put it all back, um, put it on a page. And That's then gorgeous. Just, yeah, and I pretty and did, so I was using some stamps and just add some collage on top and you know, that's how that came about. So anyway, and this is this watercolor paper I cut down. That's how I, and I added the calendar on the back. So that's what I'm also going to add in here is just my own stuff. And uh, now after I decorated these and like anything else I like, like, 
You could even do like, you could stick in daily journal pages. That's true. You, wanted. you know, you also could take the um, the new cards I just showed you guys, the, the bigger ones, and you could add those if that was, you know, worked out or you like one that you thought worked well for the page. You know what I mean? You could get a, put one, punch these and put these in. So, oh, perfect. Yeah, and two of them. Yeah, those are. That's a good idea. That would fit on two, you know. Or you could do it this way, or oh, you could yeah. have these as tip ins. There's lots of different things you could do. So that was my three purchases from Tuesday mornings. Was the fun, uh, yeah. the fun, the fun washi and the binder and the cards. But I already been working in this and having so much fun. And all that washi tape matches the colors in that book, too. It does. And that's why I that. this was meant to be, because I find the cookbook, and then I found this, and the cards. They all actually they they all go together. They all actually match. Hey, Linda. And you're talking, uh, I was like, well, this was meant to be. They all match the binders, the washi, the cards. They all went together. So I thought this is... I got to get it. It's intended. The mink, I kept going back and forth. Like, what will I foil? I was like, I already have a die cut machine that just collects dust. So, um, what a fun little project. Isn't it fun? Just like glue and do put a little art in there or just glue in it. I mean, whatever I feel like doing. Yeah, use it. You could use it as a glue book. Go through so you like your collage papers, stick those in. I mean, there's tons of stuff you can do with that. <laughs> And it's just colorful. It's fun. I thought the washi was too. And it all kind of went together. And I was like, I have to get it because I think it's all meant to be. <laughs> it's like one of those things that makes you happy. It's just like, it's a happy That's book. A good word for it. It made me happy. Fun. Hi, Linda. Yeah, putting counter pages in these because that's what. Um, it's a good idea because I have, I went through my uh, calendars and I also picked up, um, I usually buy Kelly Ray Roberts calendars every year. I buy those, but, and I also only had one of Lisa's. So I went on uh, Amazon and I bought two more of hers that are like not, they aren't this year's, but that doesn't matter to me because I'm cutting them up. I did buy the current year of, of hers but i bought the other ones and so then i went through my i was going through my calendars that i have and i kind of have these categorized it's kind of cute and country um and um and this is what i was going through so this is some of lisa's calendars you can see like this was one of her pages put on a cookbook she has really oh, look at that she has such fun art and it's so inspiring. This it's is like a dog dog. He is a and he's cute. And he's looking at the little bird and it's a and he's you know, it's a little party. And I, I just like the whole the whole thing. I like the um uh book paper behind it. I like the stamping, I like the paint. Um, it's a little bit of everything. It's that's what inspired me today to do some mixed media journal page today because of getting her book and and like Kelly Ray, um, how much I love her art and reminded me of how fun it is to do. And also watching Cash yesterday reminded me how fun it is to do a you know just a messy mixed media art page and then you know turn it into whatever you know you want it to be collage on top or paint on top and all these things between the cookbook and stuff. I just got all inspired by uh, my calendars when I was going through looking for art for my cookbook. And also they're good inspiration. I could see doing like trying to do some of those as journal pages and stuff too. You know, oh, stuff you like and do pages. Yeah. You can totally cut these out and put these on your own. And so, um, like I said, uh, like I just uh, went through my calendars at, you know, I buy these every year when they go on markdown. Um, and then I also, I buy, like I said, I buy like one, I usually buy one new one and then 
I, I did buy several of Lisa's that, like I said, were last year's because they were cheaper on Amazon, like five bucks or no, seven dollars for a calendar. So I have more of her artwork. This is Lisa's artwork. I went to her website. She has an Amazon. She has mugs. She has mugs and um, the, the guys pulling up behind us. People are getting their basement finished. Uh, mugs and um, uh, oh, uh, sketchbooks. And I love her mugs. I may be buying one of her mugs before it's all over with. Hi, Pam. Yeah. Hey, Colleen. See that the page you have in your hand with the birds? Yeah. I could see taking the one or two of the napkins that Eileen gave us, put those on a journal page, and then kind of decorate the journal page like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, it would be cute. And we thought you could put buttons on it. Oh, you want? Sorry about their barking. The guy's got like a big trailer on the back, and the dogs are all. Oh, he's fine, Colleen. They are. Uh, it's not the normal. Let's put it that way. He's got a big thing on the back and stuff. Or I think I, I'm pretty sure they're getting their base with finish. I don't know. I didn't go ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming. Uh, could you verify that for us, please? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming since they've been there day after day and they're going through into the backyard. Okay, it's K A K A U S. There you go, Pam. Okay, but couldn't you see doing a journal page like that, Colleen, with the buttons and stuff and the birds? Oh yeah, all the like uh, exactly all the little buttons. Um, oh yeah, that's it. She, yeah, she has a little, yeah, Gail, an art supply. Oh, cool. in case. I think it's more of like a shoot, a refrigerator. Um, I think it's like a lunchbox or something. You could totally use it for an art bag. And that's exactly what I thought of it as when I looked at it. <laughs> not a lunch bag. That's an art bag, but it looks similar to what, uh, Jersey showed yesterday. And it has her art on it, and it would be totally cute. You okay? You two stop fighting, you won't have an issue. You're not going out to bark at that guy. <laughs> oh, you are no fun, Colleen. So go <laughs> out to bark at that man who's working back there. You, what are you doing back there? Yeah, are all my new buttons. Thank you for posting her website, guys. Yeah, I mean, she and you can find her stuff on Amazon and on her website. And um, I, I didn't realize how much I loved her art. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to get this. And then I came home and I'm like, you know, this looks so familiar to me. I love this. And then I'm like, I think it's a calendar. And boom, I had her calendars. And I'm like, like you know you love something, even though you don't know who made it, but you gravitate towards it. Uh -huh. And um, she has, I thought the same thing, Gail. I was like, what an adorable art bag that would make. And I like, she has mugs and all kinds of stuff. And she has a sketchbooks and uh, planners and everything. Um, so I like the, like I said, I went through, you can see where I cut that one out. And all my cutesy um, art uh, calendar pages. I have some other ones like this one's like a flea market one. And I have, then I started yanking out all my pages looking for um, fall pages for coming up. I like this one, um, Your Story Matters. And um, so like I said, you get you get very inspired by calendar pages, you know? So that's what inspired her uh, artwork and, and Kelly's like, you know, made me get inspired to do a mixed media page today. So that's why we're gonna do that. So I was like, let's just do that after I go and do my show and tell uh, and get you guys inspired. So I sit there on, on Amazon looking at all the, uh, looking at all the, you know, stuff she has. And I was just like, oh, I want it all as usual it's really cute and i like that style i do too it's very i think it's us right i think it's like stuff we like and i think that i can speak for you i think on yeah. that 
Yeah, you have all your watercolors in it. Exactly. Totes and stuff are so fun to have to put all your art supplies in. The other thing I picked up was um, I realized I was watching uh, the messy, get messy on Instagram. Oh, my God. That's so funny. And, and I realized I didn't have this set. There was a set of Prima watercolor I didn't have. Look what I was just using the other day. <laughs> You had the terrain too? I was using it because I did, you know, we did that Tracy Weinzaffel class. No, so I, I did, did too, but it's actually green, like like it's showing up in her camera. It's showing a blue on mine. It's actually green. So yeah. I did a Tracy thing where I just did the watercolor. I used the whole top row of the watercolors and put it on the background and then doodled like leaves over the top. <laughs> oh my that God. Was so funny. I can't believe we're like, <laughs> I saw this and I was like, I don't have that. I went, went upstairs, started looking through my window. I'm like, I don't believe it. I don't have it. Well, I got to have the whole collection in my little tin. So we it's take a the, nice one. It is a nice one. Let me show you. Now, if you like, you know, professional grade watercolors, you won't want these. These are student grade watercolors. So if you're particular or you know about your watercolor you won't like these if you're like me and you are i have some nice ones and i have a lot of cheap ones so, so i have a little bit of everything so it is student grade just to fyi but i love that prima put these little sets out and i love that they do the colors that look well together and it takes the guesswork out for you especially if you're a beginner it takes the guesswork out for you and what looks good together and i like this particular set because of all the different greens that was in it and then it has the orange and a purple and a red and i and this this um it's called sassafras but it's kind of like an ochre and i like it because it and also this one see this is a, a peach tone that's why i use these colors with along with some pencils to color her in so cute and i like the fact that these to me spoke fall with the orange the greens the you know the, the to me this this spoke fall so i had to get it because i i had thought i had all the little sets and i was missing this one and so i'm a. Uh, I just love it. So if you're one of if you're a beginner with watercolor, Prima watercolor sets are awesome. They what they make them to match. I never break my sets up. I leave them in their little houses and keep them together. I never pull them out and put them in anything else. And you know what? I had broken up the Jane Davenport sets and I put them all back together. Oh, did you? Yeah, because they just they work so well together. I put them back together. Now I have them all and I'm happy, Eileen. I have the whole set and I'm happy. I'm not missing any. I can't believe I did not have, uh, I thought I had them all. Hi, Judy. And I didn't. I was like, I can't believe. She pulled that out and I was like, I do not have this set with all those pretty greens. How many uh, sets are there, Colleen? Do you remember? I even double checked though. I mean, I double checked before I bought it to make sure because I don't trust myself. <laughs> Let's look. Hold on. So, uh, look. I found this set, uh, this box a long time ago over at Target and I put my watercolors in it. So. These are the originals because they don't have the little label on the, this. Now they do. These are the originals. So I was like dove in for the originals. These are the three first sets they had. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one makes ten. So they have ten sets. So this one is a uh, complexion, which would be the good skin tone. See, I should have pulled this out to work on her. But uh, see, I could have pulled that one out to work if you get the stamp the girls. And the Odyssey is pretty. The Currents is really pretty. 
Do they have bold sets to pastel sets? This one's a shimmer. And then the vintage is pretty too. The vintage is really pretty. Look how it's like a, a, a like really soft tones. The vintage is really pretty set too. I have eight, so I need to figure out which two I don't have. Oh, you're missing two? Call them off and I'll tell you what you don't have. Let me grab them. And then on the other side, I have the Jane Davenport's. Her watercolors are nice too. I have Jane Davenport's. I have one art by Marlene over here. Um, but and then I have the three the Jane Davenport watercolors are nice too. There. I mean, I like these two. Oh, I have all of her. She has three. And I also have the um, watercolor pencils by Prima too. And then over here I have my Ecoline watercolor brushes. These are some ancient ones, aqua set. And then this is a set I got of watercolor brushes I got and clearance at Hobby Lobby. I bet I don't have complexion. Okay, because I have, all right, you want me to read them off and I'll tell you? Yeah, read them off, I'll tell you what you don't have. Okay, I've got Terrain, Tropicals, The Classics, yeah. Pastel Dreams, Odyssey, Decadent Pies, yeah. Shimmering Lights, Vintage Pastels, and Currents. Okay, yeah, you don't have complexion. Okay, all right, I'll look for that, I'll have to look. And you had, current, and you had you said Odyssey, you had pastel dreams, you said yeah. did you get shimmering lights? Yeah, I got those. Okay, vintage pastels. Yeah. Um or if you miss a lot of the old oh, ones. Wait, do I have yeah, vintage pastels? Because the old ones I have you said decadent pies. Yeah. Those are the old ones. Classics. Yes. Okay. That was my these are my three old sets and tropicals well i think you're only missing one then okay so just that i'll look for that i'll look for that on sale with the coupon okay. so yeah you're only missing one in the complexion set and the complexion set is nice so if you want to do any any color skin tone you want to do if you want to have light skin color dark skin color like this is nice and I'm trying to use my watercolors more because I tend to not use them because I'm afraid. Yeah, of them. I don't. Know. I tend I'm not to as well. Aren't they nice, Janet? And I, I know that. Um, I think. Um, shoot, um, oh my goodness! I'm so tired this morning. Let me take a drink, of Dr. Pepper, in one moment. <laughs> Journal Artista did some videos a long time ago and she bought all these and said they were duplicates. If you buy all the sets, you're going to get some duplicates. But I'm okay with that because I like the fact that they put the kits together, the, the colors look good together, and I don't have to like figure it all out. You know, I mean, I have a big set that I do that with, but like, I like the fact that they're figured out for me. And these are fun. And these all of mine in mixed media either because because they are cheaper paints. It makes it much better. So, I think Prima also comes in, um, has some other sets bigger sets and stuff like that. But I have some core watercolors and brand brands and so a few Daniel Smith and stuff like that. But a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, so there is my, I had to get that. So now I have all of them. <laughs> okay, the other new thing I decided to try I saw the Get Messy Art use these, and there's a bunch of these and different. They're kind of pricey, so I did only get one set. What are those like? Um... Oh, she's missing Woodlands. Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. 
That's it. Woodlands. Okay, thank you. Woodlands and complexions. Okay. Let me write those down. Got my little shopping list over here. Hey, TD. Hey, Janet. Okay. Woodlands. Am I missing Woodlands too? You must be because you didn't uh, read it. I up. didn't pull that off. Oh my God. I'm missing another one. Oh, oh. Colleen. Damn it. <laughs> Thanks, Dee Dee. Now I got to go. <laughs> I thought I had them all. Call me a liar. Oh my God. I hey, Brooke, I welcome. Okay. One more set. I'll have them all. Darn it. And you know what will happen? Like next week, they'll come out with another set probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's terrain. Yeah. And those are the originals with vintage. Oh, my God. I'm missing Woodland. Holy crap. Oh, okay. I'm buying that one now. So then I'll have them all. I just realized I didn't have terrain. And terrain, and I was like, how do I not have it? I'm set. <laughs> now I got to buy one more. Okay. I'll buy one more and I'll have them all. That, it just goes to show you're never all set. There's always something. I love these and I love I keep them in their houses. I never ever mix them up. I will not ever mix them up. And I like them that way. <laughs> I like that they're labeled. I like they're they're happy in their little containers. This is um I got art graph and this is um water soluble i saw her using these in the train and um i loved how she was uh i was like well i don't have either are those like graphite blocks yes <laughs> they are they are uh inspired by traditional tailor's chart our graph tailor shape is rich pigment smooth graphite block designed okay. for drawing or painting extremely soft and water soluble Allows you to create a wide range of shades from the light ones to the deep to the opaque. And uh, these are graphite water soluble blocks. Cool. cool. And, you, and they're made with the cork. And so you leave them in here. And I watched a guy on YouTube, and he these are super duper um, pigmented. Like you don't need much. They are water soluble, they're not permanent, but um, she was using this to do some of her outlining and drawing with. And the white really shows up well on top of the watercolor, which is, you know, normally you have to go get um, your gouache white if you want to add white on top or dilute. Right. Your so, um, yeah. The white went really well over top of it, and that's what kind of sold me. And they have different colors and different kinds of sets. And I watched a gentleman, he does um, he does more pen and watercolor type sketches and uh, watched a demo on these. So I was like, those are cool. I only bought one. I'll want i try them out. You know, because they're kind of expensive. So I don't want to own a ton of those. I know I'll use the watercolors eventually. So that's fun. Oh, those are different. I've never seen those before. I haven't either. And I feel like, like you said, you go through and you think, I know about this product. I just don't have it. And when you see something you never, you don't own and you're not seeing anyone use, you're like, what? It's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> it is. It's exciting, right? So I started looking on, um, and I forgot I followed this guy. And, um, Anyway, he does really good tutorials on it and gives it to you know tells you what he thinks about them. Um, the woodlands. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I'm missing a set. I was so, I was so, I was so pat myself on the back like I got <laughs> all of them. Pat 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 myself on the back. Sheesh. She just she. Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing any more. Okay. Oh, you you're feeling under the weather? Is why you didn't stream? I'm sorry you feel bad, Brooke. I felt really terrible Tuesday with sinus stuff, and I got meds, and I'm feeling so much better today. I feel like a totally different person compared to 
how I felt over the weekend, and uh, I feel so oh, much better. I'm glad she went to the doctor. Oh, I needed it. I just could not. I, I after a week, I, just, I wasn't getting any better. I was getting worse. I hope you feel better, Brooke. Hey, Brooke, yeah. notice you're getting up so early. <laughs> you fell asleep early. <clears throat> Here, let's do this. Well, again, this is a graphite. So I have some graphite, like some graphite pencils and um, stuff like that. But again, like I think these are, they, she was using these over her watercolors. So I like the fact that I never thought about using the graphites, you know, over top. And I love the white. Now I'm using a water brush is not as as wet as a if you were using a watercolor, but you can see how cute there's the there's the black. Now if I go, let me get some more water going in this thing. This is not a super juicy brush. So that you see that's more gray. But if I add if I wet it more and really get in there, then it you know, then it's really black. Oh, good for you, Brooke. Your body must have needed it. Brooke slept for four hours. She took a, a four-hour four hour nap. Wow. So you can see if you put more pigment on it, you're going to get, I mean, obviously it's black. I would think that's what you would want to use this for since there's a gray. Let me clean this off. Oh, good. Brooke, Brooke's hoping to um, stream over the weekend and get some projects done. Okay. I'm glad you came in. No, we were wondering what happened to you. Mostly because you, you know, I mean, not that you owe us anything. I mean, we just, I mean, obviously we stream for free on YouTube, but you know, I'm saying like, we're just worried. We worry about you when we don't see you. Yeah. Just not, you know, I'm saying, Hey, I'm not going to stream tonight. You know what I mean? And we we're, and we just did. And uh, we were worried about you. We were watching Jersey. We were watching Jersey, and then she lost connection. That would be good. Let me get a normal water brush. Hold on. My pen sucks. Hold on. A water brush. Did she ever come back? Did anybody see her? I hope her connection's still good. It's been really windy here. No, she never, she never came back. So I was kind of bummed about the fact she didn't come back, but I guess she didn't get her web. I don't want to get that. I guess uh, living out like she does, she, you know, she loses, she loses power. It seems like quite frequently. I don't know if it was storming or I know we rarely do here, but I don't live out. Oh, so. Devin's away for the weekend. Where, where are you going, Devin? Okay, Jersey was at Mary's this morning. Okay. Okay, she's getting she's got her internet back. She's That's good. It. Oh, I, I gotta have my internet. Like girl, oh. internet, air conditioning, like. Oh yeah. wow, Laura said she had an eight-hour power cut, so she was out of power for eight hours. It wasn't. Oh just my god. Well, I hope it wasn't hot. I don't know what your temperatures were. There's the, the gray. Let's see. Let me go. Let me put down some um, watercolor and then we'll go over with white like they did. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Lori, did you say you're getting a new dice? You say you were getting a new laptop? We'll be use the dark purple. Remember, to, yeah, just trying to stay out of the black because everything's everything's water soluble but i wanted to show you guys i was i was pretty i thought that was pretty neat how the white went over it oh that pigment on the black is really good it isn't yeah it's not bad and then also the fact that it's a it's a graphite so depending on what drawings you're doing if you want to do a black and white drawings i think they'd be nice to have and if you don't want to have just the pencils or whatever I just, just think it's fun. I, I like to, if there's something new, I get all excited. And I'm like, ooh, there's something new. 
I gotta have it. You're good. You use it right away. I had to look at it for a while, decide like the right time to use it. Yeah, I was waiting. Like, I had, right in. I didn't practice it yet. I was waiting. I was waiting to try it on the stream so everybody could see it. I thought it was neat. Now, if you already have this, it's no obviously not too exciting to watch. But if you haven't seen it before and you're interested, let me dry it real quick and then we'll put some water over the, or the white over it. Bye, Joy. Gonna get some groceries. Uh, and your grandkids are coming for the weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, fun. Enjoy your weekend, Joy. Thanks for coming in. Oh, wow, Laura. Your laptop lasted eight years. That's your, that's good. Wow. Buy that brand again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Who did Dee Dee have on yesterday? I was gone all day, but I heard a little bit in the car. Dee Dee's going to be streaming on Thursday mornings and doing, not every Thursday, but sometimes some Thursdays and doing having guests on. So I was in the car, but wasn't, I just got to listen to a little bit of it. I was gone all day yesterday. And Brenda said she doesn't lose power much either. She's only a mile from the hospital. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah we, we we rarely do because everything's under uh, everything's uh, underground. So like if if it is, it has to be something bad happened, like a car hit, <laughs> knocked a giant pole down somewhere. Um, but everything's underground, so it's a rarity. Um, the eight hours. Why would they, they now they cut your power? They purposely. Does that mean they purposely? cut your power to conserve energy for the area, Laura? Because cut means they did it on purpose or were they like, working on it? What does that mean? Were they working on it? Were they um, they do it on purpose for other reasons? Like, Okay, Eileen, the fabric swatch, that's Colleen's baby. I'll help her. But that's hers. I'm still doing the tag swap. <laughs> so here you go. So I'm putting the white over top. See how nice that looks over top? The, this really dark purple. I mean, I just think I was just, I was like so once I saw how, how the, the white goes over now it's going to soak into it Swatch. a little bit i don't know if this is 100 percent dry or not i don't want to spend the whole stream drying oh Dee, Dee had the comic book hook on hut on her show thursday cool okay so anyway i liked it let's put it over to let me see oops Cool yeah, colors. What's the uh, what's the purpley color you're using? Put the, the let's see if we do one on top of the other graphite on graphite. It is from the Woodland, the new set. This is oh terrain, terrain. This is purple. Oh, smoke. the purple one that's in there. That's pretty. Purple smoke tree. Oh, okay. I have it. That's a fun one. Yeah, we, you got that one. Okay, where's my glue? Here we go. Don't double dip like I just did. <laughs> I think my colors can't have that. Anyway, so this is fun. If you watch, you can get on the uh, YouTube and you can find you can find tutorials on this of people using these. And I think there's all like I said, there's all kinds of different colors. But, okay, um, what is, Brenda wants to know what that is again. It's, what are they called? Art graphics or something? Yeah, it's water, it's water soluble um, graphite, basically. They're called art graph. Okay. And like I said, they are basically 
uh, water soluble, either water, extremely wa water soluble, like some are light fast, some are not. And I guess it depends on what you buy, but they're basically rich pigment, smooth graphite block designed for drawing or painting. So they're designed for, like I said, they're designed for drawing. Oh, thanks, Helen. Helen put up the link. So I think I think it's pretty awesome. So they're designed for drawing. Anyway, I can't, you know, I have to have some fun, try some new stuff. And of course, then I'll be going and shopping for the other missing color. I am, of course, the Prima. So are those the only three colors those graph arts come in? No, they come in all sorts of colors. Oh, really? Yeah, they have uh, they have six sets, like a set of six, and they have colors too. I just thought this would be the good set to start with. Just figure out if you like them, how much you're going to use them, because you can also there's other things you can you know out there. So, but right. I get I'm excited when there's something new. I got to I just got to try it. Okay. The other thing that I had bought was these and a, a while back are called water soluble pastel sticks. And um, I got these from um, shoot, Jerry's Artorama. Ooh. These are fun too. These are, these are water soluble pastels. So you can use, you can actually make any, use any pastel in this, manner i found out later but it's okay because they're just pretty and you can and um and you can paint with these so you can paint with these and it, it reminds me of like the ink tints too you know what i mean the ink tints, but this is past these are pastels and this set was pretty um pretty inexpensive uh it was not it was not expensive. I think it was like twenty bucks or something like that. It wasn't very much. And again, like I can't I don't know. I have a hard hey, time. And what's up? Did you skate? No. What time? I said no. Oh, what you're it's not it, you're not no. doing it? No, because after everything that happened last night, uh -huh. I just to sleep. Okay. We were sitting outside the apartment until midnight trying to get it. Oh no. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye. But anyway, these are Sorry, fine. I think these would be good if you are going to, if you, these would be portable, which I think would be nice too. If you have, yeah. if you art when you're out and you wanted to play with some pastels, I think this is just a fun box you could put in a purse or kit and then all you need is some water and a and a brush and some paper and you could have fun with these so these are water these are uh i saw these they did a tutorial on these and um and then i was like oh i want to try these i mean why not i mean those again, are, I like the colors. Yeah. Again, I always look at, you know, I look at the why not, you know, I mean, it's just fun to, to play with something new. Stop enabling already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tracy. Yeah, so this is, I think these are neat. And like I guess I've been watching Robin. Um, down so I can hear you. And you can use pastels for um, any pastels, but these are specifically for watercolor. So, oh, sorry, you can't see. But again, it's just um, there's fun. So, I was playing with these when I got them. I don't know if I ever showed them or not. Not everybody likes pastels, but um, you don't have to seal these in once you're, they're wet. And there'll be permanent. You won't have to seal these in like you would um, a dry pastel. So, so if you're going to do, um, uh, let's see, There's dark brown in here. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. There's two layers to this. Sorry. 
Sorry. Oh, nice. There's two layers. As I'm like, where's the browns? <laughs> Did you get those on Amazon? Oh, Jerry's out of Ramis. Yeah, I got these, and I think Amazon has them too. Okay. Who makes them? Uh, Char Charvin. Okay. And I thought um, when I bought these a while back, I just I was just like, these are fun. Again, I, I buy everything because it's fun. That's the only reason why I buy stuff and do things, to be honest. <laughs> I do it because it's fun. Hey, Janet, Janet was here earlier. What, um, what graphite did you use with your watercolors, Janet? I don't know if she's still here. Yeah, Janet likes graphites. Yeah. So, so then you can, like I said, there's, I, I only showed one. Yeah, there's all sorts of other colors. It reminds me, what is one other product I had that I looked it up and I was like, oh, there's another thing underneath. There was something else I was using. I can't remember what it was, but like I lifted it up and I was like, oh. The ink tense blocks, do you have those? <laughs> what have been those? I was like, oh, look, there's more things underneath. The ink tense blocks? Do you have ink tense blocks? I do have those. I bet it was that. It, it's like, it was. I was like shocked. I was like, oh, there's actually like stuff underneath it. Yeah. So, yeah. So this, this, uh, this kind of was one of those two where I was like, I ordered them and then I didn't really, you know, pay attention. And I'm like, you know, it'd be nice if I had other colors besides the warm colors. And I did. They're in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, not everybody here is a watercolorist. Obviously, I am just a novice and play with everything. But I just like to show you guys stuff that I like to buy and try and maybe you want it maybe you don't it's always fun it's to fun. play with different stuff and sometimes it's nice too because you don't have to be the first to uh the first to try it you know what i'm saying you can see it and you're like yeah i'd never use that or whatever and then you don't waste your money there's a few things that we've bought and i'm like ooh, yeah why did we buy that? Why the hell did we buy these? So not too much though. I mean, there have been a few, but luckily it hasn't been too much. I was glad I didn't buy the mold machine. Did they all return? Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me too. Did hey? Did anybody keep their mold machine? I don't think. Or did so. they all send them back? I think they all sent them back. I don't think anyone kept the mold machine. So I was really glad I didn't buy that. Unless did Nikki? Did Nikki send hers back too? She might have kept hers. Nikki to get the most use out of it. We kind of figured things. She kind of figured something out for herself. Nikki did, I think, that she seemed successful what she was doing. I think everyone else did. So again, that was nice because they all tried it, and then we didn't spend the money on it. So for once, I was that like, was I was nice. glad. I was glad it wasn't me <laughs> for a change. <laughs> yeah, I was just happy. Yeah, I was just happy it wasn't me. And here's the interesting thing. I'm going over here with that. And I don't really see my circles Thanks, moving. Greg. My circles aren't really moving. Oh, Nikki sent hers back too. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Because I remember, um, that's why I'm afraid of that mink machine. Yeah. Too. Like, uh, how much will I use it? Will I like it? Will I figure it out? Will I kick myself? I mean, it's only 30 bucks, but it's just the idea. Of, I Again, I have other stuff that I bought and I don't use. And then, yeah, yeah. you kind of feel like, eh. But then other things are like, but they're fun. So, yeah, I mean, look how I was going in with, like, a makeshift fall tree. But look how that actually did, that did not move. Even though it's water soluble, that really didn't move. The circles. Oh, they didn't move. They didn't move at all when I went in with watercolor. The, at least with the pastels. Let's put watercolor on it. The pastels, well, the pastels were wet though. I mean, there was still a little wet. wet there. Yeah, the pastels did not make the graphite move. I wonder once it's dry, it's permanent. That's interesting. That'd be nice. 
As I was thinking, well, I have big black blobs, but actually they didn't move. Okay. Huh. Interesting. That was interesting. I wasn't actually, I wasn't actually seeing what they could do. But while we're, while we're doing this. You never know. Happy accident. Well, they're really not, I don't really see it moving, even with the watercolor. Look, I don't see them, that one moving. It says they're water soluble, but I don't really see it moving. It did make it, it did fade it. Because, but then these are more opaque. These are not like right, so it's going to lighten it anyway. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lighten it because I mean these are all all the primas are opaque. They're not. They're not. What's the word? You know, they're dark. They're going to cover more. They're not going to be tra translucent. Uh, it had come to me. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, still early, Colleen. And it comes to me. It's still early. You've only had what one Dr. Pepper so far? I think or I think only two. Okay. So yeah. So to be <laughs> it's all fair. Yeah, I only I only had two. So so again, like just um get out a, a piece of mixed media paper or watercolor paper and like on and just and see, you know and see how they play. And I think that's kind of smart to do. Obviously, I think before you do um, something on the big project you care about, like see what the product does. Cause I expected that to move and they really didn't move with the watercolor or the pastels. So yeah, that's kind of nice. That's nice. And let's see, let's go back to with this. Okay, so since everybody's now the watercolor is moving, the purple is moving, but actually the graphite's not the graphite's moving. Not. Cool. The only thing I see moving is the purple watercolor. Yeah, the white's not smearing. It's not. Maybe their water. It says their water is soluble, but I think they're way more permanent than watercolor because it's not really, huh? Or they're water soluble till they dry. Yeah, they might be like a. Like magicals, they could be permanent when dry. It doesn't the say it doesn't say they're permanent when dry, but uh, they apparently are because I don't see no smearage. I think it's smeared here was the watercolor. The pastels didn't make them move. The watercolor now, like I said, that made it lighter because these are opaque watercolors. But like, but look at that. They're permanent when they're dry. Even better. They're like magicals. Cool. Water soluble and permanent when dry. I don't know if the other ones are the pencils and stuff. I have them. I haven't really done the test. I don't know if those are the same way or not. I'm not an expert. But um, yeah. It it says you can use them to make calligraphy ink. So maybe they are permanent. Yeah, you can use these for calligraphy. That's true. Good morning, Nana. I must pee, pe pee pepper. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what is Eileen talking about? I must pee Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, something <laughs> like what is she pepper? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what is she talking about? Um. Oh, like a box of chocolates. You just cover another layer. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, hi, Tracy. I'm looking back through chat. What I missed as I was looking down. Welcome, everybody that I missed. I was playing with my new stuff, having some fun, and um, seeing what they do. And now I know they're permanent and when they're dry. And cool. so, so now you know that they're more... Um, they were kind of pricey, so now it makes sense. This is like $26 for three. But I think the one guy I was watching talk about it says they go very far. So that's the, you know, but now I know they're permanent too, and they have lots of colors. So this, like I said, I, I've never seen these until um, then they, you know, when they're dry, you have the little case you can put them in. 
and they stay in their little cork home. And I like these that have a little house. <laughs> their little cork home. The little cork home. <laughs> so there you go. That's my enabling. These I've had a while. Like I said, these are like 20 bucks. How many was in here? Okay, I'm going to run upstairs real quick. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this was 40 in here. Cool. Okay. Shall we move on? Let's get started with some mixed media stuff. I did like these better with a paint, a, a water and a brush, and not the water pens. The water pens were fine for the watercolor, but for the graphite, I like those better. So, let me move these over here. Clear out some room. Let me get my art. Let me get my book out. I want to smear some paint and. Do some art drilling. I have my book laying here somewhere. It's somewhat planned out. All right. I'm going to grab some paint and some stencils. Uh, uh, out of the way. All right, got some white and some black, and grab some. For turquoise, but I'm looking for the really light turquoise. Well, let's see this to do. I like this one is bright aqua green. I'm looking for this one. Oh, I love this color. Turquoise. And oh here it is. This is the color I was looking for, the ocean. Hey, baby, what's it doing, baby? What's it doing? You see me over here playing? Some red. Gray. See me playing? I see you. I see you. Okay, so I got a handful of colors. Oh, now what are you doing? Okay, so now I think I'm just going to do a mixed media page. So I haven't done one like on stream for quite a while and I was inspired by all the, the awesome oh and I want to try some oil pastels. That was it. Oh fun, 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 fun. So I have some um, I have this I have some centileers. I also have um primas. And I'm basically, like I said, it's like my watercolor round from cheap on up. I also have this set, which is fun, um, by Carndosh. He's uh, 96. Let me know how those are. Now, those are the Neo Pastels, not the Neo Colors, right? Yeah, these are the Neo Pastel uh, oil. Now, how, let me know how you like those. So we're going to play with some of these, I think, on top. That was my plan. So oh, I like, I thought I'd do some uh, collage and then some paint and then go over top with some oil pastels. So that's my plan. So 
let's just play. <laughs> Do a, a low uh, low stress journal page. And so let me get some papers to glue down and let me get my Mod Podge or whatever. Oh, Brenda got her joggles order with the crackling fire. You'll love it, Brenda. The color oh, is awesome. It is awesome. And then she also got some Seth After baked velvet lime powder. Ooh. Ooh. She really wanted the beeswax, but it's out. I cool. Don't think I've got that one. That's me. Yeah, when you use it, put let me know when you use it and post a picture, Brenda. Oh, Eileen said, use a million dollar oil pastels you made me buy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Colleen. Was, that wasn't Colleen. Who was showing the oil pastels? Oh, yeah, um, it was Cass. Cass. Oh, Cass. That was Cass. I have, I have the set you bought, Eileen. I have the, um, of Cineliers. I have the, um, the, the mix one that you got is like 40 or 50 variety. I have that set. And I um I did order the sparkly ones after Cass was showing out on some black paper. And I had the um and I did have the other set already. And I have some individuals. I bought them when I was taking some classes by Kelly Ray. And um I already had some of them from that. Yeah, you've had those. You had those before I got mine, Colleen. Yeah, because I took some of her. I did. It, I took some of her classes where you made like four girls, and we used the oil pastels for the faces. Oh, you just never quit, man! But he's rolling the balls underneath my uh, underneath my paint pot and stuff right now. It's fun, and he's hoping to—he's uh, hoping to get my attention. And all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna glue this super fast background. I'm looking through my my. Let's see, I have like a tub of stuff. Is I have some drawers with like miscellaneous. Uh, things in here, and I just put some of these down. See what looks good. Oh, yeah, so I do save like the if they're really pretty. Oops, sorry, see the so down. Sorry, um, like these, um, I'll save these because they're pretty, and this I might actually clip and put in one of my binders. You know, I'll save any of the cards that come with stuff. So, I plan on working out later, so I'm kind of like pre-dressed for, I'll pick myself off there, uh, for working out later. Hey, Colleen, how's the weather by you? It's gorgeous here. It's only going to be 74 today. I've got all my windows open. Yeah, today, it's, um, today it's going to be nice. Uh, yesterday, it was hot. Today, it's going to be uh, it was very hot yesterday. It was not nice yesterday. I worked out inside yesterday because it was it was it was too stinking hot. Yeah, it was humid. It was it wasn't it was warm, but it was really humid. Bye, Janet. See you later. Off to dinner. All right. Bye, Janet. Enjoy your weekend. Oh, Brenda loves your tat. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, most of mine are always covered up. It, um, it, I have them like under my back and my upper arms. And I'm glad I don't have any on my leg. I have one on my leg. I have one. I have a Zumba one on my calf. But because your legs grow, I'm glad I didn't put a lot on my legs. <laughs> there you go. Here's Texas, San Antonio. 
Yeah, like take your little, take your extra junk you have. Oh, here's a here's part of a bingo card. And throw them in a box, and then when you get it, because most of this gets covered up anyway. So, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Just to get some uh, color and texture down. All right, this would be good. All right. up with my daily journal I worked on that last night sorry I caught up so I'm still keeping up with that I hate when I get behind because that's the whole kind of the purpose of doing this for me is because I know because I so I don't forget everything I can look back and go what day did I do that what day did I do this or blah 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 so well, that's yeah. great you've kept up with it Colleen <clears throat> so what are you going to work on today Okay, well, what I've been doing, you can keep me small because it's not very exciting. I'm just, I'm working on my tags. I'm working on my tags. I went to, um, I went to one of my art friend's houses yesterday and uh, worked on my tags there. It was really nice. We sat at her dining room table and just chit chatted and did some art all day. It was fun. Oh, that's nice. Did you have someone you can art with but lives near you? Yeah, and then I, she showed me, like, I got to see, like, some of this, you know, her project she's been working on. She had taken the Seth After mini book class. Oh, wow. She had made some, like, really cute little mini books, and she had been working on art cards, and it was just fun. It was fun to see her art that she does. So... So, yes, yeah, so I'm just so it was kind of it's I like working on the tags while I can talk to someone. I love the colors. I, I'm going to make it big for a few minutes just so people can. How do I do this? I do this and then I go flip. There. Yeah, like that. So my pop of color isn't that bright on this set. It's kind of like a pale blue. So what I'll do is I'll do like a pale blue ribbon on there. And I used, um, this was the inspiration for that tag. This is a smaller tag I had made. So I just did this tag and I'm going to do it, you know, a little bit bigger. So this was, and then I'll put like a little light blue ribbon oh, up cool. on top. I love those. And then I like the, um, I think I'll probably, I don't know if I'll type it out or if I have enough little sentiments with the, with the little brownish paper. I'll put that on the bottom of the stamp. So, but yeah, they've been fun. And then on the really back, they, they are very subtle and um, uh, monochromatic. They're very pretty. Yeah, I tend to lean towards monochromatic. And then um, on the back, I just use some of my old ledgers, my old ledger paper, and put that on the back. And then I'll put a tag on the back. And then this was the, I did three of these. So this I used all vintage, vintage ledger stuff. Oh, that's funny. I put this down and then the color transferred. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try it out again. The color from the ledger paper transferred onto my background. I got to try that again. Ooh. <laughs> How did that happen? I did a transfer and I wasn't even trying. <laughs> That'd be fun to do. You do a transfer too. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And I was I did I was busy last week with uh Cass's class and the art challenge. So this week I've just been kind of working on my tags. I am going tomorrow to take Ingrid's class, the over the edge class. And you know how she does her journal pages and she puts oh. beads on the edge or buttons and stuff like that. It's a whole class where we learn how to do that. So that's going to be fun. Totally fun. Um, so that's about it. I haven't done too much shopping. I've gotten, um, I could show the tags that I got today. Oh, yeah. I would like to see that. It's very I much new glue. Tags. Got Cindy's tags. Here, let me put, I want to put paper over here. So 
I can sure she's like, why are you here, people? I'm just gluing. <laughs> like, I don't know. We like to listen to you and watch what you're gluing. I like her. Uh, I like her glue books. You know, it's just fun. Like when you're working. Um, I learned from watching her. You learn from watching and it's kind of fun. Like I can, if somebody else is doing something and they're talking, I kind of, I can kind of get into what I'm doing. You know, That's true. keep it company. Yeah. All right, so these are candies tags. Oh, Gail says so she's envious. She would love to take that classes. I, I, I think it'd be awesome. I'm excited for her. I wish I could too. I know. So, Gail, how far from or how far from you are you from Byron, where Ingrid is? Here, I'm gonna move my thing closer. Um, it takes me about 45 minutes to get there from where I am. Ooh, a little bit of a drive. Yeah, but it's worth it. But see, like, it's the whole day. Though. Yeah, it's the whole day. Like, she does her open studio. We're staying there all day. And then the classes are usually, you know, like four or five hours. So. All right, let's see. Let me do this. Okay. So these are very cute. There's her first tag, feel good. I love the little letters, the little words. You, oh, they're beads. They're little word beads. Very cute. Very cute. Don't take pride in taking, give, and you will get. Oh, and then she put a little saying on the back. Cool. I forgot I had these. Might be good. Yeah. Oh, cute it is. And all, oh, all hers are different too. Uh, look at the kitties. One touch of nature makes the whole world kin, William Shakespeare. I love this. That's adorable. Okay. Then she did a Zentangle. These, I bet you had fun doing these. To be healthy. Eat right, walk right, and talk to yourself right. <laughs> yes, make sure you talk to yourself right. Oh, this is cool. I like this. One. Okay, so this is a fun part. I get to pick the one I get to keep. That one's cool. I love that. That might look good in my Poe journal. It's not a privilege to know others. Know yourself. That's a privilege. These are. Where'd you get your quotes, Candy? These are cool. These are awesome, Candy. Delight the world with compassion, kindness, and grace. I, I yes. have some does some zen tangling. I know they're everyone's completely different. They're really cool. Wow. Like Sugar skull. Oh, Colleen, and you get to pick out the one you want too. I'll have to show you before I send them out. We are here to love each other, serve each other, and uplift each other. I love all these quotes. That's cool. Ooh, I like that one too. Aw, cute. Oh, and then she used a little paper clip. Look at little girl with her pencil. Oh, that's adorable. And then the paper clip. That is such a good idea. Oh my god. I love that. Cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay, and then here's one of the little Timmy girls that she outlined with gold. Cute. And then the little gold ribbon. Goodness should become human and nature because it is real in nature. Oh, and then here's the boy, here's the little boy. With her pop of blue. These are really cute. Did she doodle this? Yeah, well, she, um, I think they're pictures, but then she doodled on them, too. Aww. They're really cute. Bliss they is a cute. constant state of mind, undisturbed by gain or loss. That's cute. And then the paper that goes with them. And, oh, cute. Here's a little Notary Public seal with her little pot. I like this, how just a little splash of blue. 
and then the matching ribbon. Your greatness is not what you have, it's what you give. These are awesome candy. Very nice. Very nice. And I love all the quotes. And now I have to decide. I'm, I'm torn between a couple, so I'll have to I'll let Colleen pick out hers. But thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, your pop of color won't be too much. Who said that? Oh, no, they're all different. They're all different. Yeah, I'm worried about hers. No, you, you don't have to do a pop of color. If you want to leave them black and white, you can also do that. You don't have to do that. I mean, look at you can barely see my pop of color. Yeah, you don't have to do that. You can do you can just do black and whites if you want. No, and that's the fun part. And see, this is the whole fun part about doing the swap. I get to see everybody's cards. Yeah, those are wonderful candy. Thank you for participating. So we are going to do, I'm going to do a fabric swap. Um, and um, as soon as the tag swap is over. And so we're going to be exchanging uh, fabric swatches so we can make cute little scrunchy dangle things. <laughs> well, I forgot the name of them. <laughs> Snippets. Snippets. Oh, here's, cause there's a snippet. here's what I did on my um, uh, daily journal. Like you scrunch it and you sew it. And then I added like a little button on it. And I glued it at the top of my page. Cute. So, and then yeah. you can make them longer too and attach different ribbons to them. Yeah, that one was a short one. So if you do one. So we're either going to do, you can do like one by one by 12s or two by 12s. And um, or if you you know, and then we're just going to um, exchange those, and then you'll you know you can do the same fabric or different fabric depends what you have in your stash. Just send just send when we get all the names the exact amount, and then we're gonna everyone will get a little bit of fabric from somebody to make these. Okay, Gail did a video of her making one of the tags and uploaded it. Oh, okay. Hey, put somebody put Gail's link up there. Okay, these tags I'm going to show now are from Jersey. Thank you, Brooke. Jersey here. Okay, got a little note, and they came in these cute little envelopes. Yeah, Tracy, if you want to play along, they, they don't have to be like I said. It's just so um, we were inspired by Janet Nash. I know she went to dinner, um, but you just stitch them together, hand stitch them together. And, and scrunch them up and add buttons and stuff and add them to, I'm going to be adding them to my paper pages. Now, if you have a cloth book, like you're doing rosemary's, you can add them to those. I do I, too. Um, I like the idea of, of uh, adding them to my paper books, but Janet okay. has a lot of cool ideas. These are Jersey's tags. Now hers Ooh. are completely different than everybody else's I got. We've got there's jerseys. Now she did hers all different. Oh, that's cute. Black and white red. And some of hers, she didn't really, like, some people were wondering, do I have to um, decorate the back? No, you don't have to decorate the back. It's up to you. And Jersey did not put her names on her tags. I'm going to put your name on here, Jersey. I'm going to make a little tag and put it on for you. Here's this one. She's the Mary Poppins of tags. <laughs> <laughs> okay, her, her YouTube is a name as it appears. Okay. okay. Do more than exit. Oh, that's cute. Oh, see, here's a little snippet. She used one on this one. She used a snippet for her uh, the little tag ribbon. Oh, that's a good idea. Isn't that cute, Colleen? It is adorable. Then little little pearl on there. Oh, so she'd made a snippet and then brought it up and then folded it over. Oh, Cute. Subscribe to your channel. Sorry about that. Hey, I'll put the link in for everybody. And then here's this one. So she's got her black and white base and then pops a color. She used more than one pop of color too, which is good. And then the little little gingham ribbon oh that's cute they're all cute and these are all different the word is out month of mondays 
And then she did a bunch of little little ribbons on her tag, zebra stripe paper. Oh, I like that. What is, that's cool. She did like a rainbow. Oh, that is cute. I love that. I love that. And then different colors. In the All thing. hers are different. All hers are different. Some she uses more than one pop of color. Some just one pop of color. <laughs> Let your heart her speak on their hearts. Legs. How cute. I know, right, Carla? Jersey, sign your work. <laughs> Maybe I can make a little jersey stamp and just stamp them off. Now, here's one. I think she used foil and embossed with the foil. And then this is embossed. Cool. Very cool. And I like, see these? I like how she did all her little tabs on her tags. Those are good ideas because I always put mine through the middle and then I end up sometimes ripping my tag. Here's another one. Very cute. Oh, I think she did some embossing on that one. Material and then a piece of ribbon. Use your wings. I love these. Uh, this is, I love these. This is so fun. They are fun. Good vibes. Very cute. Oh, good. I can just sign her name on the back of all these. And then this, she did a little cluster here, which is really, really cool. You see that little cluster up on top? Let's see. Oh, cute. That cute with the sequins. Oh, that's super cute. Oh, and it looks like she sewed her sequins, Eileen. <laughs> and then the pretty butterfly. These are awesome. You guys, I am so excited when my mail comes. There's three or four more that I know are at the post office because we've gotten a notice saying that we have mail coming, but they haven't been delivered yet. So I don't know if they didn't make the truck the past couple days, but um, thank you for getting them in. I appreciate it. Yeah, I do. I like candies and jerseys. I, I think like all of them. are also different and fun. I mean, that's what I mean. It's so we need to have these in your in your. If you make a tag book or if you, you know, just put them in wherever you, you know, some, whatever, wherever you want to store them. It'd just be fun to have these to flip through. I know. If you okay. don't make, it's up to you guys where you make a book with the pockets like we are, which I need to make. Uh, I need to work on my pockets. Oh, and look at the material she wrapped it in. This isn't paper. This is material, Colleen. Oh, that was nice. How she cool is this? A this little is, bit for you. That's this is going to be like pay, a page in my fabric book and also a cover for a journal. And, of course, Jer Jersey could just send the piece of fabric. She had to Aww, send some of the nice. mail. So here, let me pull back. Wow. wow. She's a sweetie. That's it. That's really nice fabric. I know. And Jersey's like, oh, my tags are so bad. Your tags are adorable. They're not bad. Nothing she does is bad. I like her style. I know. I love it. I love seeing everybody's style. Okay, so I got this little package wrapped in. I'm sure this came from... Safia from India. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. Gorgeous. So this will be, and then look at all this fun stuff in here. I got one of her boho beads she sent me, which I love these. I want to learn how to make these. This way I can see how she does it, but these are really cool. So there's a boho bead. Oh, good. I just bought some of these little light bulb hooks. And then, okay, here we go. Hi, Mike. Hi, Julie. It is fun to see what everybody's doing. Okay, so here, look at that. Isn't that, I love these. These are so cool. Okay, and then I've got, and she wrapped it with ribbon. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh. 
Maybe I'll use this because I still have to make some more tags. Look at all that. Look at how pretty that is with the gray. Like I, might, I might use that on here. Or I might use this with gray for something. Color. Is that pretty? Yeah. I'd love that with the gray. Yeah. Since you did that, uh, since you did that with all the monochromatic, that could be a pop of color. Right, that's just my pop right there. That's really cool. Oh, and some of her pretty lace. She finds oh, the best I lace. I think uh, she has not got an email back from you, Josie, for the tags. Are you still doing it? Yes, <laughs> yes. I think I did get your email. I'll double check when I get off, but I did see Josie's still doing it. It was Josie and Lauren were the two people you hadn't heard from. Right? Yeah, and I never heard from back from Laura, so okay, not sure. Not sure what's going on. So here's a piece of a piece of lace. This is so pretty. Oh, this would be pretty. This would be pretty with like coral. See, this is what I do when I get stuff. I try to figure out like I'm gonna use this with that. I love how the coral peeps through there. Okay, cool. All right. And then I got, ooh, look at this. See, I love stuff like this. Look at that. Look at Colleen, isn't that pretty? Yes. And I'm so mad because I missed out at the sale for Defy. And I know she had a bunch of stuff. <gasps> Perfect. I didn't get the kit from Rosemary. But this, I will have material I can use with the few scraps I have. So, very cool. See, I could see sewing. My buttons are out for delivery today. I could see popping a few of those boho buttons on there. Oh, that would be cool. Would be cute. Yes. And then some sewing fabric with like little scissors and iron. Cool coffee cup, very cute. Pretty green. Oh, I'm seeing all kinds. These are, I could, I see a lot of stuff for fall in here. Very pretty green. I can see doing some slow stitching on this in, in bright colors. Oh yeah. That would I be agree. cool. That would be fun. And I did read my book on the Sissico. Oh, okay. And it's good. It was good. I'm glad I got it. it. It explained what it was. There's definitely certain stitches that you use for it. Uh, wallpaper. This is cool wallpaper. Look at that. I love that wallpaper. Oh, that is. Oh, that's neat. Is that cool? Yes. Actually, I kind of like that in my powder room. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's different stitches. And then I got another book that it was more like embroidery and slow stitching, but there were like five or six different Sashiko, like traditional Sashiko stitches. Cool. Guest check. I don't have any of these. So thank you. Oh, uh, little book pages. Very cool. These will go in with my granddaughter's book. I'm going to do tags. Thank you, thank you. I don't have very much of this. I'd like to try doing this. I wonder how, does Amy have, is this Amy's paper? Does she have videos on how she does it or she just sells the paper? I think she just sells it. I don't yeah. know gonna give her secret away. because no, it's yeah, really pretty. It is, it is very pretty. I love Amy. Ooh, more water. Uh, that's not Amy's, that's Michelle's. Amy, oh, does, Amy does that. The, 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 the she does more the tea. She does the dyeing, the different colored dyes, yeah. and then Michelle does the the tea stain with the lace. Okay, and then here's a little like a little flow book. Oh, cool jersey. This is so fun. Ooh, ledger paper, my favorite. Little, little cards. 
Oh, this is going to be fun. I think I'm going to go right through here and add stuff. Oh, that's a cool jelly print. Very nice. That's another thing. I've actually been using up my jelly prints. I need to do more jelly prints. Braille paper, more vintage ledgers. Ah, thank you. I have, I'm having trouble finding these. I've done a couple auctions online and I haven't been able to get them. So thank you, Jersey. And a little clip, more funky paper. Some little map papers. Ah, materials. More ledger stuff. How cool is this? Oh, look at that. That's all from Jersey? Stuff. Yeah, this is all from Jersey. Wow, this, this is stuff. awesome happy mail. I love how she puts it all together. I know. Look at the little, is this a little popcorn bag? Like a little glassy. Uh, uh -huh. That's cute. Let's see, I can pull it out. Potato chip. Potato chip bag. That's really cute. <laughs> I haven't seen that that's one. Adorable. Oh I haven't seen God, it either. That is adorable. Little receipts. First National Bank. Ooh, 1928. Very cool. Oh, fun. Oh. Oh, oh, little washi tape. Oh, that's pretty. Lots of fun stuff. This will all get used. Put those in here. There's another little tag. This is like Christmas. You know, just little it is. It is. But, every page. Surprise, but every page you turn, right? Ooh, look at these 60s ladies. Wow, they are styling. Ooh, can they lend green? <laughs> in yellow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Oh my god, I remember having like an all in one pantsuit. Oh. There's more. Oh, another little little dangly. Compassion has no limit. Kindness has no enemy. I love all these little sayings. Oh, cute. Okay, I just ordered a bunch of these, and I was wondering what to do with them. She just put little beads on the light bulb clips, light bulb pins, and then attached them. Oh. See? Isn't that cool? That's so cool. Good. All right, so put that here. Lots of great jersey, lots of great ideas in here. Lots I know. Inspiration. She's always saying she's not good, what she does. I, I think she's very good. Oh my god, this is awesome the way you put all this together. Look at the look at this, the bright blue doily, and then the really pretty napkin over here. Love it. Isn't that pretty? Yes. And look at all those little more things clipped on the sides. <gasps> Ooh, I'll use that in my house book. Oh, that's why I need to get back and do some in my house book. Very fun little it's so fun. I have to come up with like what works and what looks good. No, it's cool. I love it. I feel like I watch her all the time and I just don't have that knack for it. Like she does. She just does it. I mean, she just does it. I mean, it's cool. She does. Oh, the vintage rice. Nap paper napkin, she said. Okay, okay, I could tell. I could tell. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm gonna do. I like that. Ooh, okay. And here, here we go. And then I've got the coral lace. I love this coral lace and the blue and the vintage. Yeah. Very nice. And then, what is that? This jelly print. Oh, and some of this cool cutout stuff. This is pretty. Is this the stuff from Germany? Oh, that's really pretty. That is. I like the, paper, the dark gray paper. Is that one of uh, Amy's papers, the gray one? I don't know if it's Amy's or if it's. I think it gray. is. That's it. That's Amy's paper. She has a gray one. That's one of Amy's papers, too. And look how that red pops with that. 
Oh, it's more paper. That's cool. Fun oh, Amy, yeah, the black one is Amy. That's why okay. I, I recognize okay. her. I wanted to see those papers are really nice. I recognize her her beautiful papers that we're all addicted to. Those are gorgeous. And the color is really intense. That's really nice. I'm going to have to go. Okay. And then more. And wait, there's more. Oh, wow, this is incredible. I love all this. I know. Look at another little dangly thing. From Aaron Klossner's sales, what those were on top of Amy's paper. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, hold yeah, those up so I, I can see those. Hold those up so I can see this close up. They're really so pretty. pretty. Look at them. Let's see. Oh, those are so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? They sparkle. I knew somebody had them on their sales, I think. Oh, look at the little paper clip fuzzy thing. I know, little paper. There's a bunch of these. Oh. There's a bunch of these in here. Little paper clips, all kinds of fun stuff to use. Oh. So much to look at. So much eye candy. I love it. Okay, Jersey, you have to, when you're up for it, I want you to come on my show and we're going to make little dangles and boho beads and stuff like that. So when you're ready after your, all your dentist stuff, I think that would be fun. Life is a flow of love. Your we would love that. Requested. Yeah, that, would be, that would be a blast. I love these. And then here's some. Oh, look at... I am blessed. Live in the moment. Write your own story. Little clustery thing. Oh, Laura, thank you. This is great. Okay, so here's some more. This reminds me, this is another thing you could do for uh, prompt, prompt sticks. Decorate your, your uh, popsicle sticks like this with the uh, fabric too. Oh, that's a cool idea. Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? And then this pops yes. in there. So thank you so much, Jersey. That was so sweet. Thank you very much. Now, hopefully, I think I'm gonna, I've got stuff I can take out on my patio this weekend and start like gluing stuff in my binders and working on my house book and all that kind of fun stuff. And this, oh, this material is awesome. Thank you, thank you. Card chick is Josie. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Wow, look at all this. Okay. So we have that. All right, I want to keep everybody's tags with their envelopes. So I've got candies in here. Flores. Go here. And then when I'm ready to mail them out, I will let people know how much the postage is, and you can just pop that in my PayPal account. So. Let me put this over with the other tags. Ooh, it turned. That's right, I picked that up. Hold on. All right, I've been seven. home since like eight. It's like old times. Okay, let's see what you're doing, Kelly. That looks pretty. I'm building up a bunch of layers of, of texture and paint and collage, and I'm getting ready so I can start adding the oil pastels on top. Oh, go big so we can see. That color is really pretty. All right. Well, there we go. Okay. So I've got, I'm trying to. Um, I build up my. I was building up some layers. And I'm trying to tone it. Well, this is actually going to be like the ground, so that's why I put that down here. And I have some little flowers because those would be easy to 
to do here. I also might add a couple birds. And hold it up. I did a little bit of everything I was playing with. I threw some um, some acrylic mousse paste, like a chalk paste, uh, along with some paints. And Who makes that? Did that say marabou on it? Yeah, it's marabou. Oh, no, I've never seen that before. Yeah, they have an acrylic mousse, which is, is, a, is a pastel paste. It's a chalk paste. Is it kind of fluffy? It's fluffy. Yeah, it's fluffy and uh, has texture, like, you know, a drier texture because it's a chalk. Okay. Like a pastel, I should say. Yeah, it's, it's really, I mean, it's it's very light. I can tell you it dries really quickly, and that's kind of advantage over, like, modeling paste, which takes a long time to dry. <laughs> Um, it does dry very quickly. So, like, here's some in the corner. So you just put that through a stencil? Yeah, and it, it just dries. It dries super quick. You can see it has a, a, a texture to it. And it has the color in it, too, which is nice. Yeah, color and texture. So versus, like, paste, which can be smooth or, you know what I mean? Of course, you get a crackle and all that good stuff. But this was over here, but I ended up covering it with green. Oh, that's right. pretty. So now what I'm going to do is try to, I'm going to try to do some flowers here. Oh, we have these scissors. I just need them to be somewhat like circular. I'm going to do some funky, fun flowers here. I use the braille paper. I haven't I haven't used this yet. Oh that'll be fun. Huh I wonder if that's gonna work on there. Oh okay uh, Gail has it and she says it's really great. And because it is colored and it's really light and fluffy, unlike modeling paste. Yeah, exactly. It, it's very light and it dries really quickly and it puffs as it dries too. Kind of puffs up, which is which is fun. Okay, we hold this up. So this is some braille paper. So we have some bumpy flowers. I don't think that's gonna work. All right. Bye, Devin. Have a good day. Bye, Devin. Have a great weekend. Thanks for coming. Enjoy, it. Enjoy your, your holiday and your anniversary. You don't, oh, have, to, yeah. she don't have to cook. Oh, where is she? I, I didn't see where she was. Where is she? She's going to, I think she said to like a lodge or like a, or something nice. like that. So it'd be fun for her, you know, no cooking, just chilling out. Chillaxin. Chillaxin. You might be able to catch some YouTube videos. All right. So, I don't have much going on myself for the weekend, truthfully. It'd just be doing stuff around uh, our norm. I'd say more like normal if the weather's good. Well, we, uh, we like to walk. Uh, we walk a little bit more on the weekends when he's not working. Oh, uh, that's nice. Like yeah, we don't really stuff if the weather if the weather's good, you know. So. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot planned. I, we plan probably to spend time outside. Spend some time outside. Take Jack for a walk. I have. I have not really used my piano rolls yet, Eileen. Do you, have, you, have you used yours? 
I think Ingrid has piano rolls or mentioned a piano roll class or something. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her again. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Did Does Nikki have a video on what to do with the piano rolls? Does anybody know? Uh, that's a good question. I had a call. What is Colleen using? It's from Marabou Arts. It's an acrylic mousse. Can you show that again, Colleen? Mm -hmm. Candy has six rolls of piano, piano rolls. Acrylic mousse. And did you get that on Amazon or? I think I got this at Joggles. Oh, okay. But uh, I don't know if they still have it, but I'm sure you can find it in a lot of places since it's Marabou. And it's Marabou acrylic mousse made in Germany. And they have, let's see what colors. I bought them all, I think. Those look cool. I miss those. I've never seen those before. I have, um, this one is like a green. It probably has the colors on here somewhere. Okay, this one's mistletoe. It's like a green, gray, mm -hmm. and then light gray. This one is lavender and white and lilac, Caribbean, vanilla, and rose pink. So they're all in like a pastel. So they're all, actually, they're all soft. I would consider soft colors, but it's very lightweight and dries quickly. So yeah, it's not in, I guess it is, I guess it's not heavy. So it's not going, it's not going to weigh your papers down, which is, which is awesome. So I'm just over here uh, cutting off circles. Or we're going to have like, some groups and some little ones here and there, just like a little cluster of flowers. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere these down, and then we're gonna I'm gonna try smearing some some pastels over them and stuff for some color. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So let me get some matte medium, glue these down. So with the break, you know, with the with this paper, so you can use the pop part or the recessed part. It's just fun. The braille paper is gonna add some texture. I haven't really made anything with it, so I'm kind of excited about using these. These would be on like the little shorter pieces. I need a little cluster too. I don't want to rub too hard. I don't want to move in. So I'm trying to tap kind of tap 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 it down <laughs> so they're, because they're moving to tell me. He's, uh, they're taking there's a truck that's trying to scoop it on there so it so they don't move <sighs> sorry about that the neighbors had a truck from habitat for humanity come pick up some stuff and jack was going nuts because it was something different <laughs> Oh, well, we didn't hear Jack at all, so. Oh, I could hear him. I wanted to because he was, like, going nuts barking. He's outside. Reminds you, it kind of like toothpaste, but I think it's got more texture. And, and I still think it's even, I still think it's, like, lighter than toothpaste. I, still, I mean, I think even toothpaste is, is heavier than the, 
heavier, honestly. It's it's a neat it's a neat product. It's something like I said, I like I like new I like trying different products and then again like I put them away and I don't use them for a while and it, it they're fun to they're they're fun to go and grab and bring out again. Ooh, Brooke has a slow stitch workshop. Really? She said she was I think it sounds like she was supposed to do it at the road show, but they never got to it. Oh, is that true, Brooke? You have a slow stitch workshop. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's fun. Yeah, that would be fun. She got groceries early this morning. She did so she could catch us live. That's, not, that's really sweet. Oh, fun, Brenda. Hey, Brenda, are you back in school? Get her two face, she said. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You reminded her. All right, so I got my paper down. I'm going to dry this. I think I got, I'm happy with that. And then we can start adding the. Uh, Stems oh, and like fun, Brooke. Stems and stuff on it now. Oh, I hate when I forget a grocery store and forget something. Yeah, because then I because when I go back, I end up buying other stuff. <laughs> so I don't like to go back in. <laughs> I know. I like going, doing a big shop, and then not have to go for a couple more weeks. I am yeah. so over going to the grocery store. Uh, I tell you, that's probably the most crowded place I go. Yeah. Oh, you ordered another jelly. We got you a bigger one to do your new uh, foam stamps on. Those were neat, Jersey. They were huge. Those things were huge. I oh, love she got it. big foam stamps. I'll have to watch the video. What size did you get, Laura? Big ones. They were big foam stamps from Joggles. She got with the get up to the 50 for free shipping. And I got a couple stencils is what I did. Oh, uh, not free case. shipping. I'm sorry, half half shipping. Sorry. Prepare next week. Virtual students work Thursday through Friday. Oh wow! It's uh, I bet it's a lot of work getting everything prepped, and it's probably going to be a lot of work daily, just keeping you know cleaning everything. Oh, it would be exhausting. That's a workout right there. Hi, Patricia. They're massive. She said she got the 9 by 12 um, jelly plate. It's Fun. You love it. I thought they were like 11 inches long or something like that. And she oh, the stamps them. were? They were words. They were words. And I think they were like oh, wow. 11 inches long, the one was. So, yeah, they were neat. I didn't know joggles. I know they have foam stamps. I didn't know they had any that big. They're, they're neat, though, because they are gigantic. They are neat. These are almost dry. Oh, this one needs a guy. Still sticky, so I'm going to keep drying in it. Nine by 11. Okay, that's what I couldn't remember, the other part. Yeah, that's how big the stamp is. So she bought a 9 by 12. 12 plate for her by 11 foam stamp. Oh, that's a huge stamp. <laughs> that's a that's a big mother of a stamp. 
You do it online, Dot? Yeah, it's safer to do it online. Eileen said hers hasn't seen the light a day for a year. What? Her jelly plate. Get oh it out. God. Do it. Come on, peer pressure. Get Do that it. jelly plate Go out. <laughs> Eileen's not a jelly printer. She does not like watching it either. I know she doesn't. She gets bored watching it too. I'm surprised though you haven't used it with all the Stamperia, like the those the, for the sprays and stuff. Just because I know you like that, um, like that vintagey weathered effect. Yeah, I have to get, I've gotten some Stamperia paints, like in the golds and the browns and all that, and rust. Those would be good for fall papers. Yeah, she said they're sanitizing everything constantly, the kids' hands and kids and, yeah. Oh, I bet. How old are the kids you work with, Brenda? All ages or are they younger kids? Well, the kids are little kids, put their hands in their mouth and everything, you know. I think that, that would be like a germ fest with kids, but, you know. And then they're, they're always touching everything. Touching everything. everything. They they get roses and sick and lit. It used to get so grossed out by my, um, my sister-in-law. Her kids always had runny nose and it used to gross me out so bad. <laughs> Oh, poor kids. <laughs> like, oh, good Lord. Oh, they had the worst runny noses. It used to gross me out. And I know, like, I just wanted to grab a tissue and wipe her kids' noses, you know? And, and it's not my kids, so I couldn't. I'd be like, ew. Brenda said the kids caught on to wearing the mask quicker than the staff has. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, how I need to wash my hands. Oh, where did mute go? Oh, my phone's blocking it. Somewhere. Okay, it's the 5 to 11. Yeah, that's that's good, though, that they, they keep on their masks. That's, I'd, I'd be worried that they'd want to be taking it off all the time. But I guess once they get used to it. Uh, Cole had an overnight cousin visit with grandma. That's fun. Okay, so now. All right. All right, none of these have the little tabs. Okay, so what's everybody, what is everybody working on? Anybody have any fun plans for the weekend? Sorry, this isn't very exciting, but I will be happy to have these done. Hey, Malia. Oh, Molly has been lurking while angrily die cutting. Uh-oh. Is your die cutter not cooperating? Eileen's going to start cutting her fabric strips this weekend. Okay. We'll try to get a number 
my tag is going to be over 100, so staying indoors. Oh, oh, Josie, it's going to be over 100. Yeah, this will be a good time to do your tags. That'll be fun. Um, we'll try and get a number for the fabric swap by Tuesday. But I'm thinking there's at least... I think Colleen said she had 24 and I know I had a couple people. I want to make sure she got them added to the list. So I'd say, I'd say you're safe. Eileen cutting out 30. I would say so. I think I have 30 kids. Wash my hands. There's this taking uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I still got paint left. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 4, 5. 25, including us. Uh, okay, so do you have Melissa Long? Oh, nope. Okay, and do you have Sandra? Find a pen. Hold on. I think I have this dry. Is this dry now? Um, no, I don't have Sandra. Okay. And I need to, there's a couple other people. It was Happy Diane. I need to check. I don't know if she's one of the people that it, because I got notes from a couple people. I have to go back and double check all those. Okay, Melissa Long. Did I crazy? It's 27. And then Tracy said she's looking for her box, so she she might be joining in. She's looking okay, for that fabric box. Yeah, because they don't, yeah, they're just small pieces of fabric. Just, you don't have like, yeah, if we end up having, uh, we well, have 26 or even 30, you could do 30 of one, 15 and 15, like whatever you have, you don't have enough, yeah. big enough piece. Because everyone's just excited by getting different ones. So, okay, so this is dry. Let me get my pastels out now. Let's play with these. I'm in the mood to just play with all my different art supplies. I, I got all inspired by this. I got all inspired by those calendars. See it all the all these layers and textures and and everything. So Oh, and I wanna play so bad that I really I just wanna get these tags done. I want to get these done so I don't let's have to worry about them. Maybe let's try this smearing some white. And like a, a sort of rosy. Start with a lighter while we always go darker. And in here and just do a like a, a rose. Maybe some black in the center. Oh, Lynn, you wanted you missed out on the tag swap. Well, we'll be doing. I, th I think we'll be doing another one. This has gone so good so far, and everybody's been really excited. So, we'll probably I'd host another one. I think. Ooh, careful. I'm going now. This is where I hit you the rest of it. I got black on my finger. Hold on. Uh oh. Where you don't want to, yeah, pay attention what fingers are dipped in what. <laughs> <laughs> Pink finger, I have, a, I have a, a black and a white finger. All right. So I got to be careful not to, otherwise, I'm going to have a mix of stuff I may not like. Where is the end of my tape? Hate when you can't find the end of the tape. Ugh, it's the worst. I mean, you, just, yeah, it, it's hard with you know with old people eyes. You can't freaking see stuff anymore. It's so aggravating. So aggravating. You're like, dang it. All right, here we go. I just want to cover up. There's some little bits that got left uncovered. Yeah. There, that covers that up. All right. All right. All right. I would just do all the black, and then I wouldn't have cross contamination. <laughs> so those are which ones are you using now? These are the neo pastels, the Carandash. No, how, what do you think? 
I, they're not as soft. Um, they're not as soft as the Cineliers, but they're really nice though. Okay. I mean, they're not, they're not hard either. I think these are very comparable to the Cineliers. I'd say this might be a notch down. Okay. So if I you love don't the wanna, if, just yeah, you don't want to pay as much money. These are step down. When the one step down isn't bad, especially when you're beginning. Yeah, especially beginning and just playing around, experimenting and stuff. Exactly. I mean, and you may end up liking one or the other. And I, it said I got, how many, 96 of them was $200, which is, is a lot. But it's cheaper than, it's it's much cheaper than uh, Cineliers. But I do have some of those. But if you own them all, what's the big set, 400 No, it's 150 no, for all of them, the Cineliers? Oh no, it's the it's it's a hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty, yeah. It's about three four hundred dollars if you buy the whole box of them, and you can get like these. Of this one is ninety six for two hundred. So this one's a lot more um, economical. It's too, but it's still pricey. So yeah. not saying it's cheap. If anybody will email me to that now. <laughs> Um, I'm just talking about compared to Cineliers. I also have Primo ones. I, like I said, I also have other ones. I also have the Dina Wakeley's and I have, um, oh, what's the ones we all have from the, they come, it's, they're like it's staples and stuff. Oh, the portfolios. Portfolios. Those work nice. You can also um, use your Tim Holtz. I know. I use my, I still use my portfolios. I like my portfolios. I've got from the portfolios to the sommeliers, and I like them both. I'm not. I'm not as as oil. I'm not an art snob. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I just if I find something I like, I keep using it. Exactly. Good job to be an art snob. Yeah, but the it is four hundred dollars for this set. But like when I got mine. Actually, mine was kind of a gift because I had some gift certificates and I had a coupon. I think I had a coupon for Blick, so I got a pretty good discount on mine. That's true. You can also look for sales. That's a good thing. Yeah. Depending on like at Christmas time, they might run a better deal than, you know, the rest of the time or a Black Friday sale or uh, so I, I guess they won't be Black Friday shopping this year, but um, not that I went to them anyway. I prefer to stop to go online and stay out and seeing this. Yeah, it'll all be online. I think you're right. I think there will be no in-store craziness this year. Because, I mean, they pile in and trample one another. I think none of that's going to go on. I'm pretty sure I've already seen Walmart and um, a few others say they're not doing it. Yeah. Okay, here's, here's Brenda's logic. It's still cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Amen, sister. Maybe insurance will cover it. <laughs> we'll save the insurance company money. We're saving them money. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have um, I have played with oil pastels, but not a ton. I have played with these. So when I bought these, I felt pretty, pretty good. I was taking... Um, there's an online class I need to finish. I started and didn't finish with Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, uh, says a W, Kelly Wine. Let me look her name up on my email. Anyway, she has a oil pastel flower class. And she said that this was a great set. It wasn't student grade and it wasn't student grade and it wasn't it wasn't um, the top of the line. This was a in, in, this is professional, but not um, top of the line, you know, and not student grade. So I think that 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 was well put. I mean, it's not. Yeah, she said this was a great set for a beginner. And as part of the reason I bought this set was that was her recommendation. Um, oh, OK. Was she was saying how um, this was a professional set and, and it comes with so many colors. It was nice to work with. And, and, you know, you like getting recommendations from artists that, you know, that, I mean, we're all artists, but I mean, artists that are out teaching and stuff. 
right, somebody that's used it. Also, Kathy Arbor is going to do one of her monthly classes, you know, the, the ones that you pay for, mm -hmm. the artist ones. She's, I think she's going to use the um, oil pastels and do flowers. Oh, cool. Jose, hopefully it's nothing hard. Yeah. So in her classes, they aren't hard. I mean, she... She explains everything so well and really walks you through the stuff. Well, I mean, like the 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 portrait she did, like that she did. Yeah, but that would be hard. I would consider that difficult. But you know what? The way we did, the way she did it with us, it was it wasn't. She went really, you know, she went really slow, and I thought it, I liked it. I thought it was good. And the thing is, you have the video to go back to, because I didn't, that's the first one I had didn't finish by the time I was done, but I was able to go back, watch it, and then finish it, so, which was nice. That is nice. Well, I know that um, I loved her folders. I loved the, yeah. the layered painted folders. Those were awesome. I was super tempted, but I saw how the layered paints look. Yeah. Hi, Jen. I'm working um, on a mixed media uh, page using acrylics and papers and some oil pastels. And um, she, Kathy's working on her tags too. Yeah, I'm working on my tags too. So, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Kathy Arbor got these oil pastels and so and i was like you know i should play with mine and these are great for on top of whatever you're working on because you're not gonna put anything's gonna go on there i mean you're just better off to use these as your last layer let's put it that way yeah these need to be your last layer that you're adding if you're going to use it like i am Yes, yeah, so if you want to, you want to put anything. something over top of it, you can, but it's going to repel. It's because it is oil. So basically, if you go over top, like if I throw some inks or whatever on here, even if they're acrylic, they're going to, it would go into the flower, but it would just go all around this. If you, um, there, what's that one artist that she does, like the uh, ladies with the antlers and stuff? um she uses the portfolios all the time oh and, i uh, had her book julia yeah. crane yes julia crane julia crane that's it she okay. uses hers all the time she i don't think i've ever seen her use anything but this actually I know, right, Jen? She should be. She should be in that Where Art Artists Create book magazine. here i have the texture so let's do um let's do this for fun so you can see where i'm going to do, I'll do it on the corner where i have the chalk paste over here and here so let's take like a a yellow put yours big colleen because yours is more i'm just putting my tags together yours is more interesting okay no other one there we go Oh, that's really pretty. Bye, Helen. Thank you for uh, helping us out like you do. We really appreciate you as a mod and, and as our friend and being here. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Helen. Have a good weekend. And every Tuesday mornings, get you a cookbook and calendars. Calendars will be coming to the stores and stuff soon. Like Yeah, they will. Yeah. 
another another what is this august by october usually you'll start seeing you'll start seeing the 2000 calendars let's just see we can do this would be like more or less like a and you put a piece of paper over it and you see that how cool is that I didn't even think about that till now, but just looking at it. So all that texture that I added underneath, we can just take the oil pastels and then rub it over that paste. And oh, now I love we, that. Now we have some other. Then it just sits on top of there. It just sit on top. I don't have to rub it or nothing. I'm just I am doing it very lightly. I'm not doing it heavy. I am I'm definitely just lightly rubbing it on. I don't want to push. I want the it not to go into nooks and crannies. I want it to stay on the top of the texture. That looks cool. I'm gonna throw some orange in there for fun. Have some texture down here too. Let's see. Let's go with uh, this is turquoise. I have some leaves I had down in here. I have some flowers right here. Some paste over in this corner. I had some. Um, we were adding some other colors. Oh, sorry about that beeping in the background. That's my water softener I need to fill. <laughs> Hopefully it hasn't been too annoying. So it's saying, fill me, fill me. I, yeah. <laughs> so I'm so I, I apologize. I, I tuned it out so I didn't notice it. I didn't I just wondered what it was, but I'm able to tune it out. It sounds like my okay. dishwasher when it's done. Yeah. It's like that when it's done, it does the uh it does something similar to that. So it actually kind of reminded me of that. And I don't want to turn it off because last yeah. time I did that, I forgot that it needed stuff and we completely ran out. So our water was all hard. So it's very subtle. Um, let me move my camera down a little bit. It's very subtle, but I mean, when you, when I take photos of it, you'll be able to see just, you can see the paint, and um, you can still see that I use purple paste there, that fun lilac. But then you can see where I rub the yellow crown, some orange. But you also see that purple poking through there too, so it doesn't obliviate. Now that's just where I stenciled and paint. But yeah, so now you have this subtle, um, like this subtle background in behind your flowers. So I, even down in here, I had um, a few, and then I had some leaves. I just kind of scratched it over. Honestly, I mean, you could smear it. I mean, but I mean, whatever, you smear it, do it light, do it heavy. I'm gonna add that, make that yellow so that shows. I covered some of it with the paper, so which I wasn't really thinking about that when I was just thinking I wanted to have the paper. Um, I wanted the paper to represent um, the dirt, so the ground. So wasn't giving that much thought when I covered it up, but it's okay. So I like, I like the, your flowers. I like the yellow and I like the green. Uh, these I did smear all together. All right, let's put some. Try it though. I don't want to color net that's like a shot. I forgot what color I need. So this is a fun, like this is a um, I think a fun way to use the oil pastels, like in a mixed media style, which is which is what I like to do. Mm -hmm. so, all the different colors we have going. Greens and browns and pinks and turquoise and purples. It's just crazy fun. That looks cool though. I like how the flowers pop off the background. 
see. Go with the, I don't know what color green I need. Let's see. Let's go. I'm, again, I'm just like most of these I haven't used, so I'm learning. Ooh, that's too dark. I don't like that. Oh, you either like it or hate it. There's no in between. I'm that kind of person. I love it or I hate it. Yeah, you are. That, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of anything else. I love it or I hate it. You can ask Tom. That's true with everything, with clothes, with shoes, with how I love it or I hate it. So okay, so tell us, Colleen, will you be using the speckled egg and the crackling campfire again <laughs> together? No. I, <laughs> I didn't think, think so. <laughs> they were so awful. I did not think so. <laughs> I have it, Jen, and I have it. I didn't know if my stuff is good enough. For that, I've had uh, I've had a couple people ask me about that. I would love to do it. I guess I just got a deal. I guess if they don't, I guess it's okay. I guess if they don't like your stuff, I mean it's not like it's the end of the world. I I have a couple people tell me I should try to do that. You should. I should, I should get brave and and not worry about like you know rejection. You know what I mean. That's really yeah, sweet, man. Really the uh, first time, you know, do it, you know, just keep doing it, you know. That's true. I mean, you know, we don't know, like, when, you know, uh, hap, uh, when Packer Die was entering, you know what I mean, how, how right, long. Like how many times it. did she do it before they actually took one of hers? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Jen. Oh, thank you. She's so sweet. She says it's really pretty. Thank you. I got all inspired to pull these back out. And then I was like, and then by Cass, when she purchased hers, and then I did get the sparkly ones. I'm waiting for them. They're, they're coming all the way from the UK. So it'd be, who knows when I'd get here. But anyway, uh, but um I decided to get that out, and then I was all inspired by those calendars to to uh, to layer up and do a little bit of mixed media journal pages, which I haven't really done in a while. Just messy stuff like this. I kind of felt like, you know, I was I would Paula used to do these all the time. I love watching Paula do these. I'm like, why am I not doing some of these? Right. <laughs> you got to ask yourself, like, why am I not doing this? Because you've been busy. I mean, there's so much to do. You've been doing a lot of journals and that kind of stuff. All right. Let's see. I think I need, I need like a little animal or something and, and maybe, maybe a title. I'm thinking I have a bunny over here. And I thought about, I thought about that, but he's so big. Let's see. Do you have like a butterfly or a dragonfly or something? Thinking it would be, yeah, I need a butterflies or I need some, you know, or I thought about like, you know, maybe, you know, or I put a title down in here or I need a little animal in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, some words would be good. What about, oh, what about the um, those black and white, uh, what are they called? The sticker book. Sticker Nation. Oh, that's a box oh, there. Nation. That's a good point. Those are bold and black. Yeah. Because they've that's got, you want me to pull mine out and look for some, I'll read off some words. Yeah, that's a good idea. You've got Sticker Nation too, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, I like that idea. <laughs> Just want like one word. Uh, you know, I'd say maybe call it maybe somewhere in the top where I don't have a lot going on. Okay. All right. Let's see. Well, I wish I would have put more. I wish I would. Well, I wasn't sure how it was all going to work out, but it's kind of be random. I wish I would have put a little. Of course, I could add it on top. It's not too late. I feel like I need to add like a little more of the 
this instead of feathers up top. But if we put some words, I think. Okay, well, good. here's add more fun. <laughs> Add more fun could go right across the top. Um, there's always love. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you for your kindness and support. I really appreciate it. I need that sometimes. I lack in confidence. You heard they never return your artwork. Who said they don't return their artwork? I think now you used to have to send it in, but now I think they will take pictures of it. But oh, I could be wrong. I have, to, yeah, I have to look into that. I didn't know that. Or maybe it takes a long time to get it back. Uh, balance your life. See, I've used a lot of the good ones. Bless each day. Build your dream. Or just dream. You could use dream. Or your dream. It's fun to work with. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I really like it. It's really cool, Colleen. This is very relaxing. Um, I've enjoyed working on this. I feel like very relaxed for once when I'm streaming. I don't always feel... I, I get, I'm nervous a lot. You don't know that, but I'm actually nervous. Oh, I didn't know you were always nervous. Yeah, I get nervous. So I'm streaming oh. sometimes. I'm just like, time I get that, just like, <gasps> okay, I did good. Yeah, I, I get nervous. Uh, I worry about the naysayers, you know. But you know what? This should be fun. I'm glad you're having fun because this should be fun. We shouldn't do it. If it's not fun, we shouldn't be doing it. And right. You just, you can't, you you can't worry about, you know, you can't please everybody. And I should take, I tell it to everybody else, but like I should take my own advice. You know, <laughs> exactly. Everybody else and take it, you know, like yourself, you know, if I tell everybody else, like screw them, you know, I should need to do that. My take my own advice. <laughs> so not worry about the naysayers, you know, the people who are just not nice or whatever. Okay, there's always create. I like the art is is uh, subjective. And I was watching this one lady's art journal from uh, Wonderless. Oh, her art journals are, she burned a hole through it. She burned, burned, how'd she burn a hole through it? She made this like, Hey, my journal. She burned a big like because it's burning where she's at, and she had a couple pages, and she literally lit it on fire in the middle of the page. Oh my God. And she had this big flame going, and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh! And she big old flame blew it out, and then then put the page behind it was showing through, and made it look like a charred burn mess and she glued the ashes on and then she took this string and she stitched around a hole to make it look like a, a, a bird's nest but time it's done but it was just be representing like the some of the stuff that's burning where she's at i was like i was like blown away when she let a page on fire and it kept like the flame was there and it was burning and really high and i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh you know <laughs> it turned out really cool <laughs> i was like a little I was like, I think if I had flame that high, I, I would probably, you would hear me freaking out. So she did it on purpose. Okay. Yeah, Jen said she did, she they did, did on purpose. Okay. They do digital submissions now. Ooh. Carla said, C Colleen, you're awesome. Nobody never noticed you're nervous. Well, Jen crazy. said, you seem so calm and in control. Oh, that's really sweet. I yeah, I'm very nervous sometimes. Aww. Well, this should be fun. This, I feel very, um, this to me is actually relaxing and this one and I'm really enjoying this one. And I'm like, most of the time I said I'm nervous and I'm worried about everyone having fun. I, I worry about whether you get something or, you know, from what we're doing or inspired or have fun just talking where it's conversation or art. I want everybody to leave feeling um, like they had a hangout with their friends and they had fun and they were learned something. And I don't know, you know what I mean? I okay. I found a word for you. Okay. 
enjoy. Okay, just simply enjoy. Because you're enjoying what you're doing, it kind of goes with it. Just put it enjoy. Does. And I, that's true. I am enjoying this, and this is fun. I, I really like the oil pastels. I mean, it's like a kid with crayons, like. And then okay, here's that. something. Here's something to remember, Colleen. Don't worry about everybody else. If you're having fun, everybody else will be having fun. Oh, that's true. You know, if you're having fun, then everybody else will be having fun. Don't worry. I mean, if they're not having fun, they can leave. That's their problem, right? On the bottom of the two flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see that one. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, actually, I missed that one. Oh, You're right. I did miss a couple. Thank you, Eileen. Yeah, and I see enjoy going. You, I can't see the whole thing, but like up above where the three flowers are, you could put that in if you wanted. Okay. I, Let me see if that, there's that else. Has a page numbers. I don't think they did. That's what says. That's no, like, but it's E. They're in alphabetical order. It's the first one. It's enjoy. Oh, boy. <laughs> but it's no, it's the first word. <laughs> Thank you. I'm laughing at myself for not knowing that. Or you could put the one before it is empower everyone. You could put everyone enjoy <laughs> if you want it, if you needed to use that more space. I, this was a, okay. This I kind of planned out, right? But then I decided to go get uh, this is some vintage paper I got from Johnny and add that down, and then like on top of all the other. But this was the unplanned part was I wanted to add some textures, which is why I use the the acrylic mousse. But when I to use the oil pastels over, it was completely unplanned, and that really makes it. Um, it's fun. It's it, fun. Yeah, it just, I think it just made it fun for that reason, just alone. Like, I did, was unplanned. I was like, oh, what's something I'll be doing? Let me grab my book. Right, you weren't thinking about it. You just kind of let it happen. Yeah. Yeah, because face it, 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 most of the time, I know when I plan something, it never ends up how I wanted it to. I think enjoy is perfect for that since she had so much fun doing it. What do you guys think? I'll put that up there so I don't forget. I think it's fun to do that. <laughs> we talked about Paula and now we're getting out the sticker nation, which is Paula. I know. That's funny. Now the sticker nation, the, this one's got a lot more like negative things. So like this one, you have to be careful over Oh, you do have that one. I'll look through there too. To is like greed. Greed. It has other things like greed is bad, groove, groove is life. You know, it has some other ones that are fine. There's some like curse words. There's a few things that works in that. This one is love is the answer. I like that one. So some of these are nice. And then some of these are like uh, not politically correct now, but this is an old book. So. Yeah, and some things I would never use in any, yeah, so it's like I'd keep the book off the, it would not be, this is like not a stream for kids, but I still like to watch what I'm doing. Actually, there's some pretty funny ones in here now that we yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> you're reading, like some of these are just like, eh, yeah, yeah. But you can do giant ones just as love. Oh, love. And there's a giant one that says peace. <laughs> here, here you go. Here's for you. My dad's a cop too. Could you let me go now? <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny because we were just, um, Doug and I were just talking about that last night because um, Kevin was at, uh, him and his friend were driving back. He was, uh, he was driving ahead of him and the guy in front of Kevin, like, all of a sudden decided he was going to turn left on a 50 mile an hour road. So <gasps> Kevin swerved and he was able to miss the guy. And then there was a family driving behind him. They uh, put on, slammed on their brakes. And then his friend was behind him and he couldn't slam on his brakes quick enough. So he rear-ended the family. So then Kevin went back and um, 
you know, they, so they did a, it happened right in front of a fire station, which was lucky. So the firemen came out, nobody was hurt. Police came and like, oh, are the police nice? And all that. And Doug and I had started talking about, because his one friend has a dad that's a policeman where it happened. And um, Doug's like, oh, I never had to use anybody to get out. And my dad was a policeman. And I remember one time I was going to Doug's house. I was still living at home and I was driving to his house and I was kind of speeding a little bit. <laughs> and um, I couldn't wait to see Doug. Oh. And I know I was just rushing to Doug. So I'm driving and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh crap, there was a police car from the city that my dad was. So I just pulled over and didn't say anything, gave him my license, my driver's license. And he's like, are you? And I said, yes. He's like, okay, don't speed anymore. And he just let me go. And, I, and I'm just like, thank you very much. He never said anything to my dad. Wow, that was awesome. I was like, thank you so much. Okay, if you're able to find this, I'm glad. Because this, this, um, this book is from 2008. Paula found it and then enabled all of us. And then it got really expensive for a while. It did. Again, like, you know, they'll jack up the prize. They're like, oh, all the art people want it. So, um, but Sick of Nation 2, I just bought not too long ago. It, it, like I said, it has a little more um, racy stuff, or not racy stuff. Like Actually, a, that's one. It has, yeah, but the other one, the first, this one, the, the two, two is two good. Is good. Uh, There's nothing that you, like, would bother you. If you, you know, so just let you know. I mean, and I just cut out, I cut out individual words a lot from the first one. Yeah, that's true. And then you can make your own sentences too. So, yeah. um, and that's true. I mean, you can take the combination of words from both. I mean, there's, you know, um, like this one just says, write it down. Um, you know, I like that one. Where is my mind? <laughs> Where is my mind? There, that's a whole journal page on its own. <laughs> Where is, I like that one. Where is my mind? Okay, so I got enjoy. I like this one. You live in that head with a big question mark. I mean, yeah, that's a good one. Snarky would be the word. A good time. I couldn't put it into They're words. So snarky. If you don't like snarky, you won't like the the first book but sick of nation twos is safer yes like this one says like there's also good ones like um here's like focus yeah a, i just saw that that's a good one here's interesting okay i don't i shouldn't even bring this up okay i'm just gonna say we know we know like uh, this is on here and this book what year is this put out i can't believe this is in here it's like in the 90s i think isn't it 2006 okay Okay, look what's on there. Fake news, get up there. I know, I saw that. Can you believe that? That's from 2006. Just, I mean, I never even heard that before until recently. Like, I never even heard any of that. And I'm just like, huh, where, what rock have I been living under? Um, yeah, so stuff like that, which again, he was, yeah. Oh, this one's good, look. Yeah, <laughs> that is a good one. That's what I'm talking about with snarky. Yeah, like yeah, just so get like get over it and uh, stuff like Ask that. Me about my conspiracy theory. Uh, these are kind of funny. This one's like the song "Don't Stop Believing." That's the journey. Yeah. Oh, here, there's some coffee now. <laughs> Not yeah, working. Now, that's a good one. I that's think they sent one. that to Paul. If you don't like it, just use the word coffee. I mean, yeah. Don't even worry about it. But that's what I said. Just want to warn you. Or if you're looking for the word dignity, just come out, damn it. Not controversial, slightly controversial. Yeah. Not at all. But, but just kind of fun to look at. One is thicker. The first one's much, 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 much thicker. Okay, besides enjoy, are we good with that? How, how does it look, Colleen? Do you I think feel like it might be too, oh, 
You can't see a darn thing. No, uh, down, 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 down. Oh, see where the three? No, keep going down. In there somewhere. In here. Or. Or there. And then you could put, like, because you still have to, you can edge it to bring it in. Yeah. Actually, I feel like I like it better on the right than the left. And okay. I, don't, I don't know why. Isn't that weird? No, put it where it's your, put it where you like it. Isn't that weird though? You're like, I like it on the right than the left. And you know, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. No, because you're, I mean, you're there. I mean, you see it in person. You know where it looks. Okay. Uh, this is a good one. So when I was um, CB, um, CB and um, Brooke said that they liked that I laugh at my own jokes. And I do. I'd be terrible. Like, I'd be a good <laughs> comic, but a bad comic because I would laugh at my own jokes. Yeah, here it is. I crack myself up. <laughs> so, does I laugh? I laugh at my own jokes. You know, it's when you can throw out the you can when you can throw out the zingers, and then like everyone else is laughing, and then they keep a straight face. Like mm -hmm. I fail as a comedian because I'd be laughing at, and then hearing other people's laughter will make me laugh. So, at the same time. Oh, here's a good one. Maybe partying will help. <laughs> partying, art. You can see they're slick. Now, see, like I rubbed that. I got some oil on there, and I rubbed it off. So. Oh, here, Colleen, you can put this in your in your cookbook journal. Learn to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that way too. I'll cook. Oh, here, life is beautiful. That's a good one. Learn to cook. Live and let live. Oh, libraries are awesome. That'd be good for a book page. Yeah, they're fun when you start looking. There. I, I'm glad you reminded me I have that. See, this is where I, I fail and I forget I, I forget what I have. So that's not good. Oh, look at that. That's kind of fun because. Oh, I like that. Because we're putting it there It's and I'm rubbing the black where I had the orange. See, it's picking up all that. So you could even, if you wanted to, go along the edges with that, right? Because you've got that up to the edges. Yeah, you could just go ahead and. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And there's the black that really pops and stands out. How fun is that? Ooh, I like that. So on this side, I don't have the, I don't have that texture. So this side, I just painted it. So, <laughs> I wish I would done the whole thing and bumpy texture. Okay. Here you go, Helene. I find myself fascinating. <laughs> I love these. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's like, oh you, you dig your, yeah. They just, I am the best artist. <laughs> it says I'm the best artist. Yeah. That can be on one page and then you can put I find myself fascinating on the next page. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Paula had some fun uh, quotes, I think, with these books. She's really, yeah. I'd say she has used these a ton. Um, and got She's it. finding like edgy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, here's my like bust, yeah, you know, bust, the, yeah, bust the move. moves. Oh, that be oh, that might be fun with like a bunch of some of those dancing oh, die cuts or something. Yeah, yeah, books hypnotize. It, it, see how fun these are? So that that kind of that kind of helps like complete the the page. So there's they have that little just the little word enjoy because so I do want everybody to have fun and enjoy the time. Here's Ooh. one. Get over it. <laughs> this does somehow get over it, people. That would be for Jersey. Get yeah. over it, people. What are you doing here? I, I thought that was funny when Popo was like, when she was doing it in a loving way, she was, you know, she was she was saying the things that she says. And when I hear Popo saying it out loud, it was just fun, even more funny. And it was a loving way she was saying it. And we love, like, we love the unique, how she's just totally cool and unique. Yeah. Okay, here's a good one. Follow your heart. Forget the fear. Forget your fears. There's another good one. Let's 
see. Uh, there's the peach. Okay, the, uh, you're going to be sorted back where they were. This is where you know you enjoyed playing with them because you pulled them all out and now you're like, well, I don't know if that's the spot they were in, but it's okay. <laughs> that's where I have to be. It's okay. So that was super fun. Is is Barb streaming today? Am I um, at two? I want to know, like... Oh, I don't know if she's streaming today. If somebody said she went back to once a month. Hey, Norma. I don't know when the once a month is. I mean, Norma, how did your show go? Was this the week that you had your art show? Did that, yes, it did say bust, bust moves, bust a move. Yeah. <laughs> did I leave? He was busting your chops. Yeah. And Popo was doing it in such a funny manner. I laughed. She's like, so like, bam, bam, just, you know, quick witted and funny. And she was doing it in a loving manner. And when I heard her saying it, it was even more funny. People, no, people. And I love that she said that. And it turns out that's a, a that's what everyone said. That. And I noticed when I'm watching, um, uh, fixer upper they're always like you you know you nailed it you know they're always like you nailed it and apparently I, i'm like no one says that here so uh, in texas they say like you nailed it or whatever oh hearing. that's a good that's a good one actually yeah and i was like you know i don't really hear anyone uh, i don't hear anyone here saying you nailed it like that don't that okay here's you rule yes i can Timeless. Oh, thank you, Norma. She's lurking on her lunch. But we'll do this texture part was fun. Let me do, we'll fill in some time with, uh, let's try some some tags with the texture and stuff just for fun. Good luck, Norma. Her art gallery show opens tonight. Good luck. Yes, Brooke needs one that says shut it. Do they have, sh they might have shut it in here. You look under the S's. Oh, today is the first Friday of the month, so... So Barb will be on. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. She'll be okay. on 25 minutes and I'll work. I'll just play with the, I'll do, um, we'll play the oil pastels and that on a tag for a few minutes. There. Okay, Eileen, there's no shut it, but there is a shh. Yeah, I keep that here if I can see it. Let's see. Let's do. All right. I need to get back to my tags. All right. Let's get some fun. Let me get. And I used the boost again. Oh, that dries quick, and it uh, took the color. I could just use white when I add the pastel on top. Get a fun little something to small print for the tag. We can use. this one this is fun it has like these little do something like that i know okay so let's do this all right let's put some this dries fast so i'm liking this pace so we can zoom zoom dry done What did 
you miss? Uh, let's see. Uh, you, you missed all the fun stuff, Brooke. That's you missed all the, 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 the controversial sticker nation book words and all the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So Jen, she bought the, she got the sticker nation book. Did anyone else buy the sticker nation book? I've had that sticker nation book. I mean, maybe they were new when we came, when they came, we bought them. Like, I don't even remember that part. All I know is I've had it for years and I've not even used hardly any of it. So like, you'll have that forever. It's a good investment. You'll be using them, I should say, forever. Oh, Brooke loves controversial words. Oh, ah, well then, did that book yeah. for you. Where is it? Do you have this? Have you seen this, Brooke? Mm -hmm. Sticker Nation. Actually, I got... I have two of the Sticker Nation 2s because I had used so many of them. Let's see. Where is my mind? <laughs> Why does school suck? Here we go. Women take over. I still like you live in that head. <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> you live in you live in that head. <laughs> okay, let's see. And depending how you say it makes it even better. Right. <laughs> you got to say it with ex with expression. Oh, here, your soul is on a roll. Oh, uh, you have them, but you don't like them. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't too much for you, Dar. I can understand. Like I said, they're not for everybody. Well, Dar, yeah. You, yeah, I understand. There, I mean, it is different. I like it. I like it because it's got the black and white words in it. Yeah, the black and white words it's are not. Not that I'm like, like this is my my jam or whatever. But there are, there's just some funny stuff in here, I think. Well, the resistance is futile, or not futile. I mean, that's from Star Trek. The yeah. resistance is futile. You know, I can kind of like that one, but I've not heard not futile. Like, simplify. Oh, it's already dry. Stuff dries fast. The stuff dries uber fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up. Get this up. Where is my one paper? Yes, I can. I mean, so there's pos I mean, there's positive stuff too. You rule. Oh, I have no color in the back, so that's going to change it. But uh, do I want to put some color in the back? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, for Brooke, they don't have shut it, but they do have shh. <laughs> oh, and sex toys rock. Set me free. So, yeah, just a bunch of goofy stuff, but goofy fun stuff in here i haven't looked at this in a while but we've when did we get these colleen it's like that's what i said it did we buy when it came out i, I don't think they they seem like we had it Paul yeah. had it but it must have been like right it right in the beginning yeah you need to make your own book here you go brooke you need stickers you need to make word stickers every month um it was probably soon after we first started watching Paula stream. I know. I, I think it was you stream. I don't think it was you too. No, it was on, it was probably on you stream. I think it, that, that I know for sure. So it's probably like when she first started streaming, she had it already. She found it marked down. I, I don't I remember details like this, but I can't remember other details. But I remember that she found it marked down. Yes. Where? And, um, that, you know, and then uh, 
and it was just a fluke that she came across it because I would have never found that by like I would have never been searching for sticker words like that. You know what I mean? For subversive sticker words. <laughs> yeah. The big book of sub subversive sticker, volume one. And then yeah, it was funny yeah, because we got exactly. really excited. Them, you, you know, you're better off not to use or, or rearrange them so they have a positive and not a negative. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And it really, I think positivity is super important. So. Oh, there you go, Dar. Brooke said she'll buy it from you if you still have it. Oh, that'll work. You can send it to Brooke. If you don't like them, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. If you can sell it to Brooke or she can pay the shipping. But they're fun and they just they look great on art journal pages they really I, I, they are like that was kind of the finishing i think what i needed on there i, I felt like it I makes needed, it pop yeah i needed one more thing Ooh, it's really wet so I take a minute to dry and then put some Ooh. look at me trying to keep my desk clean. I'm in the zone. Oh, that would have been another good one for today, Colleen. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. The oil pastel zone. <laughs> oh, okay. You found number two. You don't see number one. Okay. Number okay. Two. Number two is the is the nicer one. It is. It's the, the nicer one. one. Yeah, it's a safer one. So that's good. You'll get a lot of fun uh, words out of that. A fun sentence is out of one. Or sticker nation too for sure. Okay, she's gonna look for it. All right. Oh, perfect. Well, that's good thing you kept it. You know you don't like it because now someone else can who will uh, who can use it. That's Pursue all. happiness. <laughs> Provide snacks. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a you could do a swap the books for uh, some of her. Uh, some of her right some so of her stickers or something stickers or something you could swap look at me making decisions for him hello just ignore me <laughs> just ignore me okay you know what i'm gonna do before i put the the oil on there i'm gonna throw some tim uh orange on top of this color because i think i would be okay with i would be fine with orange on top of turquoise green Just kick back. There's a good one. It is a puzzle. Oh, I've used this. I've used see. I've used this one. It's a numbers game. When I had all was using my like number stencils and layering them. That's always a fun one. Oh, here, Colleen. I cracked myself up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's for me because I laugh at my own joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I never, you know, until they pointed that out in chat, I'm like, oh my God, I can do that. I'm going to make a terrible comedian. You can't laugh at your own joke. Oh, guided by guts. Get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah as i said number two uh number two has some uh fun ones too like i said you, you can cut them all apart and make your own sentences yeah it's not it's definitely not for everybody yeah I don't yeah i would say i forgot i had it and forgot the last time i used it like i was just like yeah and I got it. I mean, I literally got it just for the words, like the individual words themselves with the black and the white to put on um, journal pages. So, but this way, at least you got to see what was in there so you could decide if you wanted to get it or not. So, that is true. All righty. 
I like that together. I like the crackling campfire with this turquoise. Thing. I like this. It almost looks, uh, it almost looks rough. Oh. See how oh, it, I like that. See how the orange, I like, just, I don't know. It just kind of It's a rusty look. It has like, it looks a little bit rusty. So that's, that's cool. So I put it on there and sprayed it, and then I re-dunked it in what was laying here uh, on the wax paper and kind of haphazardly did that. But, yeah, I think that, that kind of looks – don't that look kind of rusty, Eileen? Yeah, I like it. I think that's right up your alley right there. I bet you could – what if you put a little bit of walnut stain or something on top, too? would even darken everything. I don't know if you want to go darker, but I just thought of that. Uh, well, let's say, uh, ink, or you mean like a, a brown, um, uh, a brown like it's a type of light distress spray, okay? Just real light, but don't. I mean, if you like how it is, don't. I was just, I just, uh, I, this is, I'm just playing. Let's see if in your barn book you had a cowbell trim, cowbell, okay? Um, I did, I added cowbell on there, and actually, I've I, uh, I'll show you, they were loose, and I used jewelry rings to attach them. Here they are. I bought the cowbells um, at Hobby Lobby, and and then uh, they, they really work, and uh, yeah, and I just used some big, fat jewelry rings. Punch a little small. I have a, I have a punch like this one, but it punches really, it punches really tiny, small. I use that, and then I use a big jewelry ring, and then I put the jewelry ring. I put this on the jewelry. I put the jewelry ring through it. You know, I'll show you. So I literally use a big fat jewelry ring with it. I guess they're large jewelry rings, but I mean by that they're large. So there they are. So you can see, see my front page would take it like this. Now you can see I used the jewelry rings and I punched holes and I hung them off of the and these I, I think are just um, ones I found at, at Hobby Lobby probably. That was so that was so clever, Colleen. It's Antonio's brown tube paint. Yeah, so I so if you I don't know if you have a Hobby Lobby or but I did get these hobby you might be able to find these on Amazon, I'm sure, little cowbells. And then uh, just get you some jump little uh get you some as large as you can find jump rings. And then I'll look, just punch some holes. Thank you for asking. Yeah, and I did the same. Um, I did the same with my roosters. That um, I did the same thing. I used a jump ring, I punched a hole in a jump ring, and then I hung the little roosters off. Now that granted they're silver and they're they're a different color, but I wasn't worried about. It. And I did that with the roosters too. Oh, you're welcome, Gil. And then it's nice, too, with the jump rings because 
and that because they are loose and they, they jingle. <laughs> they jingle and it makes <laughs> and uh, that's what I liked about it. They jingle. This was a fun book to put together. The house book was super fun. That was a super fun uh, project that we did all together. Yeah, that was from that Somerset magazine. Yeah, that, that was super fun. Yeah, I keep all of my like little um, uh, doodads and, and little jewelry compartments is where I keep um, try to keep control of all of the little metals and that's true with the Tim Holtz and um, some of those. Now, let's see. Now I need to do is add some let's see. I'm just winging it here and it's actually not too bad. Let's spray these. These are just cardstock. It's not I don't know if all the holes are punched out. These are not um, watercolor paper. These are just cardstock. But do a, do a couple of these. Ooh, we need to put it. Oh, yeah, I forgot ah. these. You got to go outside. You got to wait a minute. I'm almost done streaming. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I had these. I have the little cats and dogs. I'll have to use those. The cats I'll have to use those for, ha I'll have to use those for Halloween. Oh, that'll be fun. I forgot I had that die. Um with the little dogs and the little cats from Tim's. Okay, so let's spray these. Um let's see, let's try the blue on these and not mix with the ugly like uh that blue and that orange. Let's try the blue on these. <laughs> God, let's try them separate. <laughs> they don't contaminate do one another. Orange, Colleen. I think you might not like it too much. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on something separate. It ruin everything. You look at your page, and I and after I covered it with the black stencil mask, I was like, I'm happy with it now because it kind of covered up some of that that <laughs> that color. Those colors are. Interesting. Oh, thank you. Dry, 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 because I don't want to mix in, because that just makes ugly. Oh, thanks, Norma. Debbie is a mad genius. Uh, stream showing where she added buttons on the edges. That's the yeah, class. Her and Lena yeah. did that. Her and Lena. Yeah, Lena did it and uh, showed her how to do it. Lena looked at uh, Ingrid's stuff and figured out uh, how to do it. And she I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I will know exactly how she did She's it. Gonna know. in the class. You're going to know exactly. She's just rubbing it in. <laughs> The um, uh, Lena also has done willowing, uh, willowing, willowing arts, and she's done. Um, she did some of hers just by not even signing up for the class. She's just able to look at the YouTube channel and follow along and make it. She's able to recreate. Well, that's a good way to learn and try new techniques is to look at take another artist something that you like of theirs and then try to recreate it and she's really good at figuring stuff out i'm not as good um without a, a class or a lesson i'm not like she just seems to be a natural figure so let's see if i like this at all i'm, I'm just going on and on and running and talking is that gonna ugh, ugh, is that gonna look good if not it doesn't matter i don't think that's gonna look good I think Colleen likes the new color. She doesn't like it with the speckled egg. Yeah, new color is good. I don't like it with that blue. I think it's too, um, it's too light. I think it's too much contrast. Like I don't. I guess I don't like the really light 
with the really dark. I, I think I like contrast normally. I like black and white. Um, I like a pop of color, but I feel like if it was a different color blue, I would like it better. Okay, I'm pulling mine out. I like mine. <laughs> okay, here's what I ended up with. And I did some mark making. And then I could have done it in the wrong order because you were doing a different order and probably order matters as well. Okay, so here's what I did with some of my jelly prints. I did some mark making. Here, let me put my camera. Put my camera out. There. So I did some. This was a speckled egg. Or no, this was just the orange with a cleanup print. And then I had some blue and orange Pascas. This was, see, I don't think you like that dull look to it that the oxides gave. That's it. probably it. That's probably, maybe I don't like the fact that it, it, it dulls it too much. Maybe that's it. Cause okay, I can so hear one. See, I like this over here. This, this was just got messy. Now this is the regular distress sprays without the oxides and it's not dull. So I like that. I'll probably cut this off and I don't know, but I do like how that turned out here. And then these were just um, these were just excess spray that I took a piece of cardstock and pressed the excess spray off the uh, off the stencil, which turned out really nice. And then this was just the regular distress spray sprayed on the jelly plate. These were jelly prints. And some texture on top of each little die cut so I can rub the oils over them. Um, oh, how this was more jelly prints using different pixie spray and not pixie spray. Let's see these, I like how these turned out. Oh, this would be kind of cool. So there you go, put some of the paste on top of the Oh, put yourself big, Colleen, so we can I, see. I know. They want to see what you're doing, too. I think we're good. Equal. Okay. And then here's, I did this, was a mixture of the oxides and the distress sprays. And then I went back through with Pascas and outlined some of the stuff. I don't know if you can see. Just some mark making and stuff like that. Ooh, so good. So I like the blue and the oranges, but it, I, it's, I admit it's not for everybody. So, okay, let's take a poll. Who <laughs> agrees, let's take a poll. Who agrees with Eileen and Kathy and who agrees with me? <laughs> so there. <laughs> let's just let's stream them half. Even if I lose, I still want to know. Two sides now. <laughs> Two sides now. You're not allowed to say both. <laughs> Nobody's going to answer. <laughs> okay, it's two o'clock. <laughs> two o'clock, got to go. Two o'clock, you ain't have to answer. You can run the bars and you can avoid that awkward question. <laughs> two o'clock, got to go to Barb's. <laughs> <laughs> Adios. I'm not getting it in that one. go. <laughs> Oh, Norma fessed up. Okay, Norma, hands down, Kathy. Tracy likes Kelly. <laughs> okay, we won't hold it against you. We'll try. Not I'm just, just <laughs> playing on that one. I just want to see where everyone stands with the with that light with that light blue and that orange. Right. It does depend on the colors of the blue and the orange. And Gail, I have to admit, like orange is not a color I use a whole lot of. But look how good this turned out on this turquoise, though. See, I like that. Look how that changed this this really, you know, brown or this like orangey red into a rust. That I really and like then that. If you look up in here it, where it got darker, so you have dark. That's where it's a little more red, and then you get in there. I mean, with this turquoise, it looks like rust. It's really pretty. I want to try that. I am flabbergasted that that worked out like that. And when you see it all just sprayed on there, it doesn't look like it was laying out in the yard and it picked up and got like so some kind of tool and it got rusty. Oh, like an echo print. Like an echo print. No, not so, an echo print. Yeah, echo print. 
like the i think that the this blue really like the, some this acrylic ink mixed with that oxide and the two colors it looks like rust mm -hmm. it's it is cool that was see that's the fun part i guess about playing right is is uh happy accidents i didn't go in thinking i'm going to create rust i was just trying to find something that would look less ugly with the uh, and sorry, now that's something i do i don't like that this blue with this but i love this with this okay See, like, okay that's blue. what the turquoise used cool so how fun very cool and now I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm taking a die cut with the distress oxide, which is fine by itself. I just don't like it with the blue, that blue. Uh, Tim Holtz will come in saying, you know what you're talking about. And I'll be like, yeah, I guess not. But that's <laughs> I, can argue I don't that. think Tim's cares. He's just happier using his stuff. Look, so there you go. So I'm adding the texture paste on top and then I'm going to glue them on and then I'm going to rub the pastel over, over that like we were doing on the page. Just the, and Of course, you could use an ink pad. You don't need to use the oil pastel. You could use an ink pad. You don't have to use that. There's all kinds of ways to do that. But I've never actually done anything like this. I'm just, boy, I'm just like wild today. It's fun. We haven't, you know what? We haven't really had a big play day lately. We need to do more just play days. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, because I'm just like doing and just having fun. It's very fun. Because yeah. we've been working on projects more. I, I agree. So I think this is a good day, a good day off from, from projects, right? Let's see. Let's take the paste like we did and rub that oil pastel over it. And now they have some little, besides the fact it's white, which gives it some contrast with now we have some contrast there. Ooh, I like it. Oh, thanks, Norm. I'm glad you came. We miss. I miss you. I'm glad you've been around. Yeah. And yeah. hopefully, now that your art shows all up and going, that's what we time. need to hear. That you go into art shows, is your art and your art is uh is grown and it's you've taken it to the next level. That's so cool. It is very cool, Norma. Post and pictures. I'm sure you'll, will you post pictures on Facebook and stuff? Yeah, you take it to the next level and um, that's, that's awesome. All right, so. Now with adding the black and then this is, and you can see, well, I guess a good example is you can see how this looks rusty and this looks orange. So it did change it, but now this oh, has. So that pops off there. So now it has a little now it has a little bit of pop with it. So you got the rusty, you turn rust with the turquoise, and then adding this is just all cardstock, nothing. Hey now, Colleen, edge all those edge those little flowers in black. <laughs> is Eileen yelling at me to do that? Okay. No, I just thought of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was kind of kidding. But it would look okay. I've heard because that's true. She's always telling us the out. She's always telling us the edge stuff. That's what oh I thought. God. Is that telling us? Wearing off on me, Eileen. You've done good. Uh, Kathy, yes. Kathy told me that without you seeing it. <laughs> so again, you could use an ink pad. I'm just playing with the oil. Having fun playing with the oil pastels. So. But yeah, I think that takes it takes a a, a boring. It's like it gets a little less boring this way. Just oh, I like it. Thanks, bumpy. thanks. Yes, Norma, text definitely text me. Thanks everybody for coming. Yeah, this was fun today. I got I'm oh, I'm getting my tags done. They're getting there. It it takes a while, but they're going to be great. I think you're. I mean, you've taken more time with them than I have. So. Well, because I don't have a plan. I mean, I did kind of have a plan on the other ones, but like these, I don't have a plan. So I'm just kind of like, okay, now I've got to think of what to put on them. So I've got about 10 more to make. Bye, Norma. Good luck tonight. Are those, those are the Timmy dies, right, Colleen? These are the Timmy dies. Okay. This, this is uh, all Timmy except for the oil pest. Nope, I take that back. The ink isn't. The ink. What is the ink brand? This is uh, Amsterdam ink. Everything else was Tim. 
I'm going to wrap yep, this brown. I'm going to take the, use the brown. And I have the black on the flower, but I think I'm just going to go over. Okay, Ann got three tags done. That's good. And we kept you company, too, right? So Yeah, this was perfect because I could sit and talk, do my tags. And it was nice yesterday. I was able to just, like. Okay, bye, bye Norma. See you later. Thanks for coming in. And right. um, Maybe some washi tape. Eileen, I'm making messes. Are you happy? <laughs> I had a big mess last Tuesday after my show. Eileen better have been happy. <laughs> what do we think? Let's see. That's kind of cool. Be really cool if I had a vase to put these in and need like a clump them together, like with a an eat a vase or something. Right? Oh, oh, you know what, Colleen? Take uh, some like really thin ribbon or some string or something, like some colored string, and make like a little bouquet. Oh, that'd be good. I think it would look better if they were scrunched together. I yeah. like that idea. And then maybe a little, yeah. little ribbon with a bow. Oh, that's cute. Like in turquoise. Ooh, yeah, let's see. Let's grab in my giant yard sale bag and see what <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any ribbon, Colleen? I'm not sure. You may have to go buy some. I just don't know if I have any at all. Or even, um, you know what else might look good is twine. Oh, twine would work. Twine too. might like would be more natural looking. Okay, Jen's got one tag done. <laughs> well, she was talking about she's, she's chatting. She's chatting and watching. Let's see. Black. Let's see. Oh, my Brazilian. She's a brown. Brown might, oh, you can't see. The brown might look good. Let's see. Yeah, I keep digging. I got these from some lady used to make hair bows for her kids, and they didn't want hair bows anymore. So she told that I had a good deal on all these. Or some of that different color string. You know how it's like the white and pink, or white and red, or white and blue string? Oh, that would be neat. I wish I had, I need, I used to have a bunch of the fuzzy, like the fun fuzzy threads, and I really don't have yeah. them anymore. And I wish I would have kept them. Again, somehow they got rid of. And I, some things I haven't regretted, and some things I have. They're the brown and pink. I don't think that goes. I think. Down. Let's see. Yeah, if I had something, thick. something a little more fun, but it gave us an idea, like. Oh, wrap that around and then take some, like, thinner string and then wrap it around that. Kind of goes with the, maybe with the rusty. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any wire, too? You could put the brown ribbon and then take some wire and wrap that on top of the ribbon oh, wire mm, that's fun yeah mm. or colored string or something to contrast i like that i like oh, the pop. Yeah. this is like a the prima the prima wire it's kind of like kind of wire kind of not yeah like that and i actually got multiple colors so i could use i don't know if there's orange in oh, here is that blue? i think there's blue turquoise oh do the turquoise over the brown yeah turquoise in there there's green Let's see well i have no that's black i don't have brown no, but you have the brown, the brown, the brown ribbon, ribbon, and then the turquoise over the brown ribbon. Ooh, fun. Okay. This is when I wish I had a hot glue gun handy in a dune. Oh, yeah. I get to dig it out and plug it in. One of those things you don't, don't use anymore. 
No, I don't use my glue gun that much. Although Rosemary was hers at using hers last night to glue down material. Oh, dear, I'm going to cheat. I might tape it temporarily. Again. Yeah, then you can fix it later. Yeah, I'm going to cheat. Idea. Ooh, all my flowers fell out. Damn, my poor little flowers. Okay. Oh, this is harder than I thought. You know what I need to do? Just tape these boogers together. Then wrap them. They're oh, okay. They're fragile. Okay. They're fragile. So let me do that. Let me get a piece of, even just a piece of washi, just something to keep them. Yeah. Keep them together. Boy, this is. Okay, Eileen, have you bunched them together? Oh, yeah, we had the same hairdo. Yeah, I like mine short and 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 easy to take care of. Yeah, keep it long, like the bangs long, and the rest of it really short. So it's easy peasy to take care of. Bye, Dot. See you later. Bye, Dot. Thanks yeah. for coming. I, I like it um, just easy to take care of. And I mean, as I, you know, with going out and I don't have to worry about it. And, you know, I think long hair is a lot more work, even though uh, I was a hairdresser forever ago. Um, I'm kind of lazy with my, you know, I want it to look good fast. I want it to look good, but just quickly. Long hair is a pain. Like, I mean, how long does it take for your hair to dry? I don't. Okay. I'm really bad. Um, I usually wash it myself like once or twice a week and let it air dry. That's what I do. I, I air dry. Go. I go on Thursdays. I go every Thursdays and have them wash it and dry. And <laughs> because <laughs> what happened <laughs> was <laughs> I, um, when we were traveling on the weekends, you know, to go to hockey games and stuff, it was such a pain like to have to do my hair. And one time, just by chance, I got my hair cut on a Thursday. And so they washed it and they dried it real nice and everything. It lasted the whole weekend. So I'm like, oh, so I just started on Thursdays getting it done for the weekend. And then I didn't have to mess with it. Ah, that makes sense. Well, you did travel a lot and did it with the sport. So. so now I just do it so it's something that's back to normal for me. Ah, it's nice. to get uh, liking. That's a Getting your hair done makes you feel amazing. Like you feel clean and you know, refreshed. and Yeah. So, and it gets me through the weekend. So if we do go somewhere, it always looks nice. I don't have to worry about it. And then they'll either like, sometimes like she'll use the straight iron and make it really straight. Sometimes she does it wavy. Sometimes she'll do it curly. So it's, I like it because then I do different, because I like doing different things with my hair, but because it's so thick, it just takes me forever. I like the cord. Oh, that looks cool. I like it. I don't know if I need the ribbon or not. That looks kind of neat. Um, oh, yeah, you may not need the ribbon. I don't know. Let's see. I could use one little piece to tack it down, like at the bottom. I'll do one little piece of brown at the bottom, and I'll rest it, keep wrapping the rest. Of the, I like the wire idea. That's, that's good. She said book binding thread would have been easier. Now, oh, I love the wax book binding thread. Yeah, too late. But it's I not think very this is pretty easy to work with. This is like a this is this has got yeah. some stiffness to it. So this isn't. It's got a little bit of a really thin wire in it. Okay, now it's got to flip them all back over. Every time I move them, they flip. Love that. Oh, that's fun. Well, I'm fussing with these flowers for longer than I did the whole painting, I think. I know, but that's fun, though. I mean, that's fun, like getting them all, getting them all colored and. Ooh, he's going to be reattached. Okay. They're flimsy, so it's a struggle. Okay, I'm going to use this sticky glue. I'll add it. I don't know how Jersey keeps hers and getting clogged. This glue, I, I, you had the tips and uh, constantly have it getting clogged. I've gotten to where I'm just like giving up and just squeezing it out of the bottle. Uh -oh. I've given up. 
I've tried the little thin thing. I've tried putting a need, keeping the needle in it, and then the needle gets stuck in there, and the needle got, and the needle got all rusty because it, it says it's steel, but it wasn't steel. Oh, uh -oh. you know, so yeah, that have I had put a push pin in, and it got rusty, so I didn't use that anymore. Yeah, they lie. They say they're steel, and they're not. They lie. I see so mad. Okay, I can't get this to stick. I'm gonna have to do my ribbon after I get my hot glue gun out, people. Hot okay. glue gun. And my flowers are just falling all over, but I'm determined to make these work. I'm being determined. This is determination. You're going to go on here and you're gonna be happy. <laughs> What could you do? Could you put like a coat of gel medium or something on the tag? Let's try the fabric tack. Everything sticks to that. Yeah. Like the mega glue. I know, Eileen, you don't like it. Eileen, don't like it. But it. this might be the, maybe what's going to make it stay. So I have that nearby. I have to go hunt. My glue gun's in a case with all the glue. It's all together on a shelf. I know that much. Yeah, but you had no idea you were even going to use need the exactly. glue gun. Exactly. This was a complete, yeah, totally unplanned. Don't look. It's your, yeah, Eileen hates fabric tack. But, man, this stuff glues metal down and everything. Um, I know. I hear you, buddy. I'm afraid he's wanting to go out to bark at one of the dogs. I want to make sure he he's going to go out because he wants to go to the bathroom, not to. Yesterday, uh, Jack he, just said hi. He got. He heard that he like gets all up. They they run over to the fence and and the, the water runs that direction and it is oh my god they i literally brought them in yesterday and straight to the bathtub straight to the bathtub like they weren't even like i couldn't even because i know they'll jump up on the couch or whatever they were just covered in mud and i was like oh my god covered because they were over there barking at the dog the fence and that's where it muddies up and all the water drains that way and that we had had an inch, I think an inch of rain overnight. So there's quite a bit. I got it. Took me forever, but I got it. Woo! It's down, it's down, it's down. Perfect. And that looks cute. I might get add something on my hot glue one that's not junky. It kind of got gunky from my fingers, but um, that'll hold it in place. And I can add a, I can always add more ribbon on top I was use stainless steel for the pin use a stainless steel pin oh thanks carla yeah that's right that doesn't yeah because our, our grill is stainless steel it doesn't rust we leave it out all winter and it doesn't rust oh that's a good point let's see I'm going to glue some of these down. I've been taking the dogs out on leashes yesterday. All day I took them out on leashes because I did not want to do <laughs> any more baths. Um, so I took them out on leashes last night, like all day yesterday. I took them talking about pain when you used to like let them out in the yard. But I was determined to not have to do baths again. Just determined like okay now i got it down show it close when you're done jen wants to see it okay Ooh, let's do this let's do the ribbon and the blue and put this through gosh my fingers got yucky that fabric glue does it yeah it makes your fingers yucky Okay, so, oh, this would be fun. Hold on. I'm going to tie this. Wait, I'm not sure if she's talking about your card or your hair. Oh. <laughs> no, I think it's your tag. 
Uh, let's say I hope not. As I say, I didn't put any like uh, stuff styling stuff in today. It might be a little fuzzy. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, where's my little, I need the, uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, let's make some curly doodles. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah, let's do this. That's pretty cute. It's just like, roll it and roll it and just make little curlies. Curly cues. What can I put on there? they lie on the listing see that's what i think as well dar is that they lie about it being stainless steel i agree that they lie i've had um because i know i bought some that said stainless steel and they weren't because they rusted in the glue i i, I definitely agree with that okay now this need one i need to cover up the I'm going to use a glue stick for this one. Hopefully the glue stick will work. It's less messy. I just need to cover up the or the, the glue. Basically the glue mixed with the um, oxide sprays and the inks and kind of get goopy. But I picked, you know, so there you go. Let's try to get this down. Just come on. You can do this. I want to get that because I think, yeah, the fabric glue made it yucky. Picked up the, it activated the orange spray. Guys, I'm determined. Oh, Jen. Okay, so you get it. A toner helps with, I get a toner, but you can also use baking soda and lemon juice. I'll soften it, Jen. Jennifer. Oh, Carla found some at Walmart, and they, they're they legit. Have you tried them? They're legit stainless steel. Okay. Got it. Okay, finally. They're wrestling with it. Okay, so there's the ribbon. There's the wire. That's where we did, I did this. Come on, camera. Get my camera to focus. Focus. Shoot. There. there. Oh, look at that. There. So there's the texture, the waxes, the strings, and then I rub the crayon over top. But that does look really rusty. And then up top, there. There's my curly cues. Look. <laughs> Cute. Curly cues. I might add. I like that wire. Yeah, maybe I need some a few more curly cues. Yeah, add some more curly cues. I like that. That was a fun. I was like, after I was like, well, I need brown and turquoise up here, but you can see where I was just rubbing the crayons over top. You can over top the what was there. Plus, I just love all the rust that happened. Do you have brown or orange wire? Um, what other colors do you have? Where did I, where did I spit it at? Oh, behind. Okay. I have black, black, yellow, pink, gray, white, purple, green. I don't have brown. Oh, just use more blue then. Light blue. Okay. All tangled up. Okay, what am I gonna do with this? Oh, were you just going to put more in, more little curly oh, cues in there? Oh, light blue with the turquoise up top? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Patricia. Yeah, it, I thought this, would, uh, this, I spent a ton of time on this little guy, but it did turn out cute. And I love the, I'm super sold. I'm doing this again. I'm so used in this ink and the uh, crackling That's stuff right. to get that rust color. Like that. I can't believe that. 
Okay, well, I just got three more tags done. Awesome. Just sitting here playing. Yeah, well, they take time. And you put, like I said, yours is very neat. And, and the neater ones are going to take longer. I took did messy, messier style. Yeah, well, like on these, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I just kind of sit and then just look what's around me. I saw the washi tape and... Look at this. I like that. Now these you're adding, what is it? You're adding a washi for your pop of color. Yeah. I use like layers of what there's like three different types of washi tape on there. And then just this little charm. And then the papers are the vintage papers that I've been collecting. Oh, uh, you've so got to give them a melting up barb. It just really gets into your art time. Barb, oh. Brooke. <laughs> oh, real life. Oh, had fun. Yeah, but look, you came, and now you might get you can get some snarky uh, stickers from. Right, you've got snarky stickers to play with. You'll be getting when Dara finds them. I'll see you later. I'm glad you're feeling better. And uh, we'll be looking for uh, your lives. Yeah, we'll look for you, Brooke. Take it look, easy. Look how cute these are. Oh, I love that. Look how stinking cute these are. I love it. Ah, oh, Popo's here. It's stinking cute. She Popo's here? No. She oh, might be lurking. Cute. She doesn't like stinking cute. She doesn't like when people say stinking cute and so I'm doing it. I'm doing it the ear. I'm doing it just for fun. So I know that they talked about that roseberries. She doesn't like stinking cute. Oh, she doesn't like stinking cute. Mm -hmm. So the reason she doesn't like when people say that. So now I'm just gonna be like everything I do is gonna be stinking, stinking cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. See if she says anything. You'll see, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got a little fuzzy because it's the string, but yeah. Oh, I'd like it. A little curly cues. I might, I, that was unexpected. Again, like the wire, I like the unplanned. Yeah, this has been fun today. Now I need like a, like a brown ink or something for edge. Let's see. Oh, yeah, like don't forget to ink the edge. Yeah, I think I have seeds on. I think you're stuck in our heads now. We're like, we gotta edge it. Oh, when I didn't eat the edge, I'll have to trace around here or something. Oh, yeah, he's got. Uh, yeah, just use his since I'm not getting it wet again. Maybe my brown one dried up. I did have a seed on brown one. Maybe it dried up. We'll keep that box of brown. Let's see, how much washi tape can I fit in this one inch space? What color ink uh, did I use on the background of my tag? Um, Eileen, I used um, Amsterdam turquoise green.
And that's what it looks like. And if it has a number on it, there you go. It which way does it go? This way. There you go. Six six one. And that's what I use with Tim's crackling campfire oxide spray and got that cool rusty look. Now I'm gonna now this is uh pine what is this? Not pine needle. This is ground espresso. Yes, they are, Jennifer. Yeah, I have these, and then I did some other ones. I'm doing, like, different ones, and then I have a whole bunch that are the same. So I've got these tags, and then I did a few of these, and then I did a whole bunch of these. So I still I need to add a word and some – I have to find my stamp to put down here. This was my – this was kind of my inspiration for the tag. So I need to find my stamp and then put it down here and then put my words and then I'll be done. So these are kind of black and cream instead of black and pure white. They're kind of more cream color. You wanna press these down till they're So I can catch some of the raised spots lately and try to avoid getting the square on there. Yeah, it's there's gray, there's gray, black, white cream. What I'll probably do is put some more. I think I'll go around the edges with black to get more of the black on there. I wish now I had like a I wish I had a orange uh, orange wire. Yeah, I used to. I thought gray would be fine because gray, and white, black, white make gray. So, but I think I am going to. I kind of like that. I think I am going to go around here with a dark black marker, just to get some more black into it. You're welcome. Amazon has it. Oh, good. Okay, because I know I great because I know I got it at Hobby Lobby. I figured you could be able to get it elsewhere. Actually, I don't know if Hobby Lobby's still carrying. I know they clearanced a bunch out, so I'm not 100% sure they they're carrying these inks again or not. Or if they changed because they were had they, they had the FW inks and then they clearanced those out and then then they switched to Amsterdam. The Amsterdam's and I thought I, I don't know if they're still carrying those or if they marked these in because I love the some of these colors of the Amsterdam that they did not have in the FW inks. That's the advantage of all the different inks. Like, um, like this one is an FW, and this one is their turquoise. This is turquoise green. See, it's getting a little yucky. But I mean, there's a big difference. Like, I just felt like the Amsterdam's might be a little better quality. It'd be truthful because look how yucky it's getting. And this is that not. It looks like it's more shimmery. Is yeah, that it's not even. A, this is not even like marked down one. This is one I bought, but you can see like it's separating. Ugh, see how it's separating? Yeah. And that's not. Yeah. So I feel like the Amsterdam is probably better. But that's my opinion. Don't email me. I have these. I will be using these. I'm just saying. Like you can see, there is a dollar difference between. They had their answer tams for six ninety nine and these for five ninety nine, and you can see that they're separating. So I don't think that's good. Again, but I am no expert. That's fun. So I got two I need two things done today. Well, I should make another one and then send one because I still need to make you. I got the other tags. I need to send one to you and Eileen. Maybe I'll make it. I'll send this one to Eileen and make one for you. Oh, cool. Because Eileen likes to rust. And I'll do another one. So that's the only thing I love to do. And then have Tom help me print out, make some little tag things. Fun. Yeah. And yeah, and I made, I can't find my tag things. Now I'm going to put the, yeah, it's messy on the back. So I'll have to put another, I'll have to cover it. But yeah, that was fun. That was, like I said, I can't believe that worked out that well. That really looks pretty. I got to try it again. Should I try it again? 
<laughs> Hi, Safia. You like the Amsterdam too? I, they're not separating. It looks like the other is like a little weird separating. I like how you use multiple um, watches on there. I love the round, the red one with the. That red one, actually, I just got from, that was one of my free ones from Joggles. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, they knew you to a T. So this actually, this one has, let me show you. I'll show you what went on here. If I can find it under this mess. Okay, this one, I put this one, this one, this one. Where's the other one? It's another uh, Gina Wakely one with the little hearts. These, these four made that. Wow, look how good those look together. You guys so get tired of that. Yeah, I started out with this one, and then I put that, then I put this on top, and then I did the red on the very top. So, yeah, I just kind of made it pop. This one, let's see, was this, obviously, and this, and that. So those three went on here. I will add this one too, but I like that. Break the rules. And then here, and here, and. Where is it? Here. And then these three went on here. Just easy. I just put them on, layered them up, and... Don't forget, Eileen, I also put down the um, paste under on top of that. I'd also use the, the, the tag bare. I didn't have any paint on there. And then I was like, oh, I should have put paint, and then I threw the ink on there. It's all because I forgot to add paint first, and that's how that yeah, that's how that came about. Yeah, because I meant to add, I forgot to add paint, and then the and then the stencil with the texture. So then I was like, well, I'll just use some ink. So I don't like run all the way through there. Yeah, that's how it all came about. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Can we get a different stencil this time? Okay, well, I'm going to get going, Colleen. Okay, well, I'm going to make one, uh, even off air, and make one more just because I haven't done. Okay. To prove to myself, I can do this again. Oh, no, keep going. I just, I need to, I have to, I have some stuff to do. I have to go eat something. Because it's like three, it's almost, it's going on three. Oh, uh, well, we've only been, I've only had you here for five hours. I don't know why you want to. I know. <laughs> You're done. All I'm, right. a, I'm a weenie. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, and uh, I appreciate it. We, Thanks, we Colleen. This was fun. This was fun, and I've got my tags are almost done. It was a play date. Like, yeah, it was fun to hang out. Just a low, This is a low chill day. I liked it. Yeah, it was a fun play day. We need to do this more often. Yeah. All righty. Well, bye, everybody. Have a good weekend. And I will see you on Tuesday and probably I'm sure I'll see you around around the interwebs this weekend. Yep. All right. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.